Oh, the stream! What's up? It's me. Oh, Moji's here. Hi, Moji. He ain't coming up here. What I would like to be doing right about now is playing a horror game on stream. Um, but I don't have my VR cord. You know what's really fucking annoying, guys? On Amazon Prime, which means I could get it in three, two days. What the hell? There's a cord on there for forty two dollars. I wonder how much I paid for the cord that it's stuck and could like who knows what it'll be here for? A hundred and seventeen dollars. Uh, I don't know if it's the last quality or what. Oh, or more cheaply made. Anyways, the fishing tournament runs up to six PM today. Get started on the plan. It's all for today. Have fun out there. Have fun out there. Um New Horizons. Uh, January 9th. Um, yeah, I've this entire time since I've been on stream, I've literally done nothing but play Animal Crossing, trying to catch up on all the days I missed. It took forever and I hated it a lot, and it's not the correct time. I mean, it is definitely the correct time. Seven, 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 seven. I got Snow Maestro! Hooray! Snow Angel. But then I fucked up in like four days in a row. I think I'm pretty sure I only made one perfect snow and the rest were all not perfect, which really pissed me off because I'm trying my Danver best and I can't get it. Um, I also learned how- I finally got the DIY workbench! Finally, after all these years, but I don't even know if I want anymore. I mean, look, I don't like fishers, but I'll time to do it anyways. I mean, same. Water! Chapman! Yo, also, hey everyone. Hey, Logan. Hey, CD! Holy crap, how's it going? Welcome back. Milky Way. Mm -mm -mm. Luca. Uh, Chapman! How do you say if I come over to your- Wait, what time's the Napoleon fish out? Napoleon fish. Shit. I should probably put New Horizons after that. Oh yeah, Animal Crossing has real fish. Um, 4 a.m. till 9 p.m. Oh, it's not... Wait, what time is it for you, Jack? Could I come over? What do you think? Um, I got these things. Frozen partition. Uh, I got the duck rod. Very nice. Is it a duck rod? What? I have no idea. But hello, it's been a yeah. Uh, my apologies for my absence. I'll be more active. Uh, sorry, I forgot you moved to Twitch. Yeah, I should. Uh, I should. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I should probably figure out a way to better advertise. Uh huh. I really want to figure out a schedule. I've been literally saying it for years, man. Um. Whoa. Uh, let's just let's just search. I think I'm just gonna do a couple fishing thingies here, and then I'm gonna just jump right on into the into the into the into the into the. Into the I'm gonna do fishing things and then I might just time travel to the actual time just so it's easy to play. Oh shit, don't fall image. Oh god, oh frick, dude. Oh frick! Twitch do be swaggy. Yeah, I overall do like Twitch much better. I don't understand why um, YouTube hasn't done more to just copy Twitch. You might think, oh, the companies can't copy each other, but I mean, just look at Instagram, copying stories from Snapchat. I know everything has stories in the world, you know? People were crying before when Twitter got stories because they're the most recent one to get it. Like they're called fleet, fleet, fleets. Is that what they're called? Like a fleeting moment. I think. I think that's what they are. But anyway, people were pissed at. It. But like to me, Twitter makes the most sense. The entire point of Twitter is to post your like quick thoughts, right? So like to me, it's like oh, like that matches, right? Um, it's a bot instead of a bobber, it's a duck at the door. Well, Jan January 9th. Sting. Yo. Like fish. Yeah. Stop fishing so much. Yeah. Yeah. That actually sounds kind of funny. Two goose on a rig. 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 Guys, I'm drinking tonight. I don't know if uh, I said that or not. I definitely haven't. But um, this is actually my four shots. And look, I'm doing vodka, which doesn't have any calories. I'm trying to get back on track to eating better now. Um, I cooked up a bunch of chicken last night, and um, I had some yesterday, and I didn't have some today. I'm gonna have it every second day with like fruits and veggies and stuff. I'm just trying to, you know, phase some stuff out, try to be healthier in general, uh, and do not do an insane keto diet again. Um, although I'm, it's getting to that point, I'm pretty Twitch sure I gained back most of my weight already. <laughs> oh hell yeah, yeah! Oh, I got Dom's photo, so that's kind of cool. He can move out now. Bye. Hand hand jacket. I kind of want to see what that looks like. That sounds kind of cool. Retro radio. 
Arca covered with arm, a friggin' Mario or something. A bear costume? What? A lettered cap. I'm so hot again. What the heck, man? Ah, oh, there's a formula I missed. And good for you, Chris. We're proud of you. Wait, for what? The weight loss? I mean, I, I'm getting back most of the weight, so that sucks. Um, I don't know if you saw my mess. It, it's 8 p.m. Oh, okay. Um, but you can come over. It's 8.06 for me, so I think the next 15 minutes. I don't even think I have that much bait. Is the issue. The issue. Issue. Wait, god dang it. Um... Oh, wait, are we friends on Switch, Jabberman, or no? Do you know? Do you remember? Also, look, there's snowman theme in here now. It's about Christmas. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, if you, uh... Oh, I gotta take this shot. I forgot. No. I forgot what I asked. <laughs> and dying Coke, which also has no calories, but it's not good for you either. Um, okay, let us... Do I want... No, I don't give a shit about the bait. Let's let's just do with what we have here. And I'm so excited for my fishing rod to break mid-conda. Ew. The aftertaste. Oh, right. I asked if we were friends on Switch. But I'll give you a dodo. Okay, sure. You can add me too if you want. But if you don't care to, then you don't have to. Why is this one shot? It has like a gross aftertaste. And not even like an alcoholic aftertaste. The aftertaste that it doesn't normally have. Delete three feet. So normally you're supposed to do this with bait. What the? Is that? Is, wait, why does that rose look so weird? Do you see that? It's a black rose, but it's like it took me a second to know what it was. Ready, set, finish. Ha -ha. Try to get rid of Eric. That's a reindeer, right? What's wrong with Eric, man? Come on, dog. What's wrong with him? I can't believe I have a golden fisher on, man. That's crazy. Um, yeah. So we, we could do that, uh, Jarman. Um. You can just DM me the code if you want, or you can uh, post it here if you don't care. I'm sure my chat isn't, you know, I'm sure my chat won't just bombard your town. Um, perhaps if I had thousands of viewers, maybe, but um, no, that's not a thing, so. Hey, yo, Chris, I just want to say thank you. Honestly, you're the reason why I am the way I am. What? You're a huge part of my existence and perhaps, so, aw, it's so touching here. Thanks, man. Um, and you still absolutely are. Thank you for being there. You're Ah, oh, freaking Marlin! Uh, for being there. Your streams are absolutely this. Oh, thanks, man. It's nice to see you back, Yeah, I, I have missed you. I, that's the one thing that's kind of sucked for moving t from YouTube to Twitch. Um, is, you know, I, I, there's some people that never really made the transition. Of course, you know, that was going to happen. I was hoping, you know, maybe I would hopefully get... People would eventually come back. <laughs> and, I mean, people like you, you know, yeah, you guys do eventually. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, has, it definitely hasn't been quite the same. And I could move back to YouTube, but, uh... I don't know, man. I think I'm just gonna have to stick with Twitch and, um, see what happens. Emoji does not agree with that. I don't know if you heard him. He just meowed very loudly. He's pretty close to me. Wait, can you see him? You can! He's not that close to me. But, um, uh, he's pretty cute, right? Ha <laughs> Oh, I also got Gulliver. I, I took a bunch of screenshots. I'll show you guys a second. I also got Wisp. Want. I didn't see, um, Gull No, not Gulliver. I didn't see Red, though. Although, I did see Red a little, little while ago. You have a bit better reach on here? I mean, not really. <laughs> but I do feel like YouTube streaming... It Like, they made a huge push for YouTube streaming when it started. And then now, I don't really feel like no one even really knows. Because, like, YouTube Live... Or YouTube Gaming? That's I don't remember the name. Um, like I got a lot of views for that. When I was playing Minecraft, sometimes I was getting up to thirty views, which is like fantastic for me. Um, and then again with Animal Crossing New uh, New Leaf, I was getting like thirty views too. It was great, at least sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, but then and then and then I noticed the viewership tanked, and then like they got rid of YouTube Gaming, and now it just kind of seems like YouTube live streams are weird. For a while, they stay, like, if you go to your subscriptions page, live streams will stay at the top, and then they'll just stop existing. And, like, they'll just disappear completely, even if you scroll down to where they are. Emoji is very impressive. He is. is he still there? Nope. Hooray! And with that, I have completed the final fishing tournament. I hate this shit. I'm glad I'm done with it. Winterborn Overheater. 
Please participate in the fishing tourney, which is held every spring, summer, fall, and winter. I'll give you Nick Miles as a reward for your first time participating in each season. So with that, look how like, clean this is starting to look. We're definitely going to get that in 55 days. So that's pretty neat. This I'm not going to get unless I get help from viewers or I start hunting it out specifically. Um, true patron of the arts. We're going to get that eventually. This one we're not getting here for sure, for sure. How many? We have what? Two months left? Two and a half months left? Two and a half? So that's four, eight. We have 10 KK slider consoles. We'll get the 41. We won't even get the second last one. It's a hundred for the last one. That's almost, that's a little under two years of gameplay time. Not missing him once. I still have six of these. That one's going to be pretty hard to get. This one I'm a little nervous for because I can't make a perfect snowman for shit. This one, I could just grind out if I really have to. I really don't want to, but I can. Um, this one, honestly, I just got to start buying more shit. <laughs> I can't believe 1,000 is going to be the last one for this. That's insane. 480 from casually playing this game. That's a lot, to be honest, but it doesn't feel like, comparatively, it doesn't feel like it. That's also pretty shit. I could just start ordering random shit, though. This one, I'm obviously, like, is it 200 for this one? I would guess it'll go from 50 to 100 to 200, but I don't know. I don't remember. Like, a lot of this is looking pretty good. I gotta start harvesting my fruit, flower. Okay, we're not gonna... We're, every time I do one of these, I go through this, and I get sad every time, because I really wanted to 100% this game, but it never happened. I'm very sad, I'll never forget. I'm gonna blow it up! Don't do it, Kayla! Don't do it! Where are you blowing up? Try Diet Dr. Pepper? I, I, oh, uh, well, I mean, I'm trying... Sorry, I'm getting Diet Pepper. Doesn't taste so much different than normal stuff. Um, I mean, I, I'm fine with that. Like, honestly, I don't. Yeah, Diet Coke is fine. The, 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 the Diet Coke. Uh, I'll post here even uh, if someone does. I don't care. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, I'm just gonna clear my inventory before I come to you, and we're gonna see how many. Uh, what song is this? Actually, like the song. What is this best song? Fair. That's how I found you a year ago. Uh, Wait, how'd you find me a year ago? Chris has been around for a hot minute. Dude, I've been... This year? This June? I'm pretty sure it's my 10-year anniversary to when I started posting on unoriginally Chris LPS. I'm pretty sure. You can fact check me that if you want. I forgot to check this stuff out. I don't care anymore. We're getting rid of it. Oh man, I want to see what the jag looks like though. Jag man, do you care if I come to your house naked? I'm kind of missing pants. But I do have a flashy New Year's hat. What was your... Uh, wait. Uh, when I first found your streams, it was the most ass username. I don't remember what your username was when you found my stream. V Swaga, some say true. I exploded. Why'd you explode, Kayla? Don't do that. That's not good for your body. You're going to hurt yourself, you silly little bean. Who calls their audience bees? Doesn't someone do that? Who does that? I think a lot of people probably do that. Elias the polar bear. I don't really even remember that, I don't think. It snowed yesterday, so therefore my island is now, once again, overrun by these stupid fucking flowers, dude. <laughs> oh shit, I shouldn't believe that. Um, also, I got other shit, so let's uh, take it. No, it won't let me throw it away anymore, will it? Ah. Uh. Honestly, good protection, though. I also got a um, Sunday HRA letter, and I believe it that. Why did I tell you that? You didn't see it. My code is this. Okay, I'll uh, come over. I'm going to I'm gonna time travel to the correct time, and then I'll come on over. Come on over. I ordered these for the sim... Yes, Nori. <laughs> Am I playing this game in the wrong language? What is this? Um, What do you got for me, Gulliver? The South Pole? Holy shit! Hey! Those reflections! They're beautiful! They're not accurate at all! Put that away. I haven't. Oh yeah, I got Dom's photo. You guys saw that already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A Zen cushion, and I'll toss that away. Toast, get toast. I picked up a stone at some point, apparently. What does this look like? Wait, what? On the wall? Oh, it's one of those reactions, huh? 
What year did you find my stream in? Nice. I don't know. I'm very, I have very bad memories. Very bad memory. The South Pole. I really want to see if the... Uh, it is that. That's cool. I like that. We could put that there, I guess. I can't remember to be honest. Do you remember? What, do you remember what the first game you ever watched me play was, or anything like that? Anything that would help um, figure that out? Don't really have to figure it out, but I am curious. Minecraft. A stream? Well, I started streaming. Hmm, 2015, 2016, maybe. Wow, that's true. That's actually pretty crazy. I gotta jump out on Urgecraft. If it wasn't so late, I'd say maybe tonight. Because I am actually kind of feeling Minecraft a little bit at the moment. But, um... But, um... um Alright, this is probably a good opportunity to time travel to the correct time. So let's do that. When I found Chris, he was playing New Leaf. And he came to my island and made my entire day. Yeah, the good old days. I used to get so many people ask me to come to the island. I tried doing that for this game. It didn't really work out too well. And I just ended up going to see the same like four or five people over and over again. So I kind of ended that. Um, Alright, it is eight, right? Oh shit, it's nine. Damn it. Half my weekend's already over. And I'm so sad because next weekend I'm on call, guys. In other words, I might not be streaming a whole lot for the next little while. I'm going to try streaming this week. Streaming on weekdays is hard. <laughs> Only because um, I'm so exhausted after work. Like, I feel like, like I'm just kind of in a bad mood a lot of times. Chris is call girl. I don't know what that means. Pulling another shot. Hold. Hold. One fluid ounce, which is one shot, which I do not know that, but I mean, at least according to this line, it is. Can you guys see that? Hold. You can, the line. The line. Let me in, let me in. Chris is a call girl. Like Canute? Wait, what? Who the hell's Canute? I've been playing on Pooplandia. Yeah. Those low, uh, poop land. I mean, on original craft, I'd have to play on. Um, uh, that's what I'm gonna be streaming on whenever the heck I do decide to finally stream um, on original craft again. The only like, listen, if I had unlimited time, I would play on original. The only issue, like, in order to build anything that feels worth a damn, I feel like you gotta put like tens, um, maybe hundreds of hours into. And to be honest, I don't have that kind of time. I want to be doing so many other things. If I was like a Minecraft YouTuber, sure. But I'm not, so. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, is this the most solid point of my island that isn't sand? It might be. It do be looking so. We'll fit through that right here. Quack. Is there enough? There, there should be enough room, right? Yeah, there we go. What's the reflection now? Not a whole lot, to be honest. It's snowy, though, which is interesting. Damn. Uh, pretty much... And I've pretty much made up with everyone I was asked to? Well, that's good. Well, well, I remember those for those years I was toxic asshole. I don't really remember that. So, I mean, you couldn't have been that bad. If you're that bad, I would have kicked... Did, have I, did, I, did me or any mods ever kick you? Because if the answer is no, then you probably weren't as bad as you think you were. I feel like everyone's, you know, their own worst critic. So, um, if I never kicked you or no one ever kicked or even warned you. did it, Has anyone ever warned you? I was on the ass on the stream. Oh, you just mean IRL. Oh. I want to move that bike. And it's actually kind of, the bike kind of fits Dom because, you know, he's worked out. Even It doesn't Dom should not. Why is he a jockey for? That makes no sense. He should definitely be a uh, lazy villager. All right. Can I get a whoop whoop? Why? Why can't I push anymore? Oh, we haven't read this. Let's, let's read it. Huh? There's a message written smaller in the back. Born March 18th, Pisces. 
Uh, favorite saying is, be true to your most shiny self. I think we're coming up to a point where we can let a villager move too, so that's kind of cool. Um, so fucked up power poop line has been fun. I have a hole with cats. What does that mean? I want to see Chris do modded Terraria. Uh, what can I do in modded Terraria? I guess unlimited amounts of things, really. But um, um, I don't think I'll ever play Terraria again. I really enjoyed restreaming Terraria for that little bit of time that I did so. Uh, the only issue was though was that I was told this final update had a shit ton of stuff. And then it didn't. <laughs> At least the four or five streams I did of it, not a whole lot had changed, which is fine. But I like the last update I heard changed like a lot, and I was expecting to for it to essentially be a different game. Hey, Doc, what's up? I hate that game, Terraria. What? Wait, really? Why? Terraria's great. I love Terraria. But I mean, playing streaming for a second time, nothing, not a whole lot changed enough. Oh shit! No, I need to grab my bait. That's bait. Oh, the someone made me lose the wolf I saw. What? What wolf? What? Wait, what are you talking about? No, I was an ass on stream, but in DMs I said horrible things to people. Oh, really? Sure, regret doing. Um, my reputation in the hardcore community is pretty correct, even years later. Try it. It's poopy! Wait, why, why, why didn't you like it? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Please tell me. Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Like and subscribe. Terraria is one of my most favorite games. Yeah, I mean, I really did enjoy Terraria. I didn't like it at first when I started, when I Let's Played it, like, so many years ago. But the more I played it, the more I definitely got, I got really into it. By the end there, I was having a lot of fun. I remember I had, like, a bunch of notes and stuff on how to do whatever. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm good on bait. I should be able to do this. We only have 30 minutes, though, so, uh, 50 bait... Fuck it, dude. All right, you know what? we could probably take all this. Let's bait. I watched a um, video talking about um, why Mad Max Fury Road is like a great movie or whatever, and it is. I I, I love Fury Road. That's one of my favorite movies, and that's you know I don't give a shit about like car movies, so. Um, but th there's like there's a point in the video where there's like a scene where something fishy's going on, and then the actor um, Tom Hardy that plays Mad Max he goes, "That's bait," and it's like the perfect like meme reaction image. And someone said that they totally did that to make a meme out of it. And I don't know if that's true or not, but it definitely like it is like the perfect reaction. I, I used it actually just the other day <laughs> on somebody. Cool story, right? So I, I th thanks for asking, guys. One point four was so good. Is that, the, is that the one I was streaming? I don't remember. Trill! I'm a silly goose! Um, I hate the game. I think 1.4 was so good. I think 1.4 is kind of disappointing. Was that the was that the one I streamed? Was that, like, the, the big update? Well, that Vine Saw streamed as well? Sorry, it's alright. I played the bootleg version. Oh, what's the bootleg version? Talking about Minecrafts? Wait, what? What are you talking about Minecraft? Ducky. Snowman made me lose the wolf I saw. Oh, okay. I forgot there were even snowman in the game. I thought, like, there was a villager or something. I was very confused. <laughs> I know I haven't played my, um, Animal Crossing in a week, though. I hopped in to say hi. Instead, I hopped in and ranted about my hatred on Troy. Hey, I mean, you gave me chat messages, so I'm not going to complain. Um, I feel like this is the final update. It should have gone out with a, a bigger bang. Yeah, like, I didn't really see a whole lot. Maybe there, like, I know there's a new boss. I don't know what else is new, though. Um, where's the dodo code? Jabber man, where's your beautiful, bright, blue name? Did you really post that? Jesus, man, my chat's actually active. That's cool. It's so confusing, because, like, I'll stream, you know, I'll stream late like this. And like, oh, cool. Like right now I have a super active chat, which is fucking great. I love it. I have nine viewers, which is pretty damn good for me, to be honest. Oops. Um. And then like, I'm like, cool, this works. I'm going to start streaming this late. Lemuria? Wait, what? Is that a Golden Sun reference? No fucking way. Is that? Oh, shit. Is that? 
Wait, how how did you spell it? <laughs> I'm misspelling it. There's no that's not a golden sun if that's a golden sun reference, I'm gonna explode. Um Probably such just a game. I really enjoyed it. I did I did calamity with Thorium and Spirit and a friend what the hell? And it was fun seeing new stuff. I don't know what any of that means. But the leg was kind of unplayable, sadly. What the hell is Thorium? What? What is that? Not a fan of 2D gameplay style or graphics. Just not a fan of the game. Also, High Turtle. Really? Okay, that's fair. I mean, I don't really think I like it that much either. Maria. There's no way, right? Wait, a continent? That's an actual continent? Wait, is a continent... Lemuria is a continent that is, according to disproved scientific theory, put forward in 1864, was located subsequently sank beneath the Indian Ocean. Okay, so it's Atlantis. Now. But a continent? Cool. It's not. Okay. That's the only... I didn't know Lemuria was a real thing. Or at least, you know, a, a real thing. Well, it seems like it's like a mystical, you know, city. Whoa. Yo, what's up? Dude, your town's cool. Man, your town's beautiful. You actually put work and effort into it. Maybe one day I'll do the same. Um, Napoleon fish. Can I catch that wherever? Well, you know what? I guess it doesn't really matter. I just go to the dock anyways. <gasps> I don't, I don't, I don't grab anything. Wait, where's your dock at? On the other side. The other side, I didn't grab any supplies to make another fishing rod. Well, I do, I can, I can destroy. Wow, this is weird. It's so green. Yo! EOL was fun as heck. I even beat her in master mode. Did you see the Troia server right before the update? The that went wild. Me and the boys. Oh, I can't even chop wood. Oh shit, I'm actually screwed. What is this? A cone? Cone. Well, hopefully this golden rod lasts out. Um, dang it, I can't believe I forgot it. What size is it? I don't want to waste your time, so I'm literally only gonna go for the huge. That's definitely not huge. So get out of here, you freaking, you freak, you freak. Oh, that ain't it. Oh. Yep. That's not huge though, right? No. That's a shark, but it doesn't have a fin, does it? I can't ignore a fin, can I? Come on now, I can't do that. Did you put on the snow golems in my house? I couldn't play. It's not. Um, snow golems, I don't know what you're talking about. High climbing, throwing wild. Look at that, I did that without even looking. Oh, sucker fish! Even you kind of kind of escape their uh, pain, can you? That's not long. That's not huge. Oh, I have a puppy. A puppy. Ah. My cat's okay. I'll look. Of the island, giant man. Yeah, this actually looks pretty cool. I'll I'll uh, I'll go explore it once I uh, maybe catch the fish. Is that does that count as huge? Some David shot. Hold. Do you see it? I don't actually know. He is backing up as if he does, though. Okay, he doesn't. Oh, 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 okay. Grr. Who? Sevens? I don't know what that means, but hello, Frankers. Oh, the Iron Giant Man, thank you. <laughs> Phasmo VR with Frankers. All right, Frankers, we'll... Once my cord comes in, I don't know when that is. Now that is a good number. Ah, I remember that year. What a good year that was. Except when the locusts came and killed everybody. That part wasn't good. Hooplandia, at least build a house. Alright, I'll jump up Hooplandia. I didn't, like... I know I won't be long... Like, okay. Ah, I mean, it's, it's not what I'm looking for. It's fine. I'm taking the shot now. Now that was pro right there. Oh, quick! 
I am very far behind, so I'm gonna have to go in order here. Remember that time, Kalo, when you wreck it, when you um, use your points for Minecraft, and then I still haven't played Minecraft yet. How long ago was that? Wait, that might be the right size. It's hard to tell. Let's see. When did you when did you use your points on Minecraft? Doing a TT. Hold on. Um, pick game for me. Last month. Okay, well, it doesn't really say 30 days ago. But the, the one after that, when you said play Ghost Runners, that was 20 days ago and I haven't played it yet. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow will be the day. I will, I will, well, I can't do Phasmophobia yet, but um, maybe tomorrow will be the day I do Minecraft. M Kayla recommended Minecraft. Wait, 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 Kayla, are you still here? Yeah, you are still here. I don't have a slot. Wait, okay, when you said Minecraft... What the hell? That's an eel. I don't want that. When you say Minecraft, would Pooplandia do? Would that would that work with you and Franker's thing? And if it does, then I could just like refund Franker's points because it's essentially for the same game. If you specifically want me to play on original craft, then I will count it separately though. Does that make sense? Why is there so many sharks, dude? That's gotta be a sucker fish, right? That's not even big. That's got it doesn't have a fin, right? Fin. Nope. Alright, I don't care about the money. That'll work, sure. Okay, so it'll count the same. Okay, then I'll refund your points, Frankers. But I will I will jump on to uh I'll jump on the Pooplandia at some point in the next um <clears throat> little while. Well Jared man, this is not going very well for me so far. Okay, that's a big boy shark, so we'll catch this guy. We gotta catch the big boy sharks. And I'm Frankers. I have a slime ball. It's actually one slide ball in mid, 34 string, three in one top four, one all What the hell's going on? Hooray! Fish. Or a shark, whatever. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Jeez, I thought I was gonna like. I forgot that's actually how you hunt for a specific fish. You don't actually catch every fish. Wait, this could be it. Pause. Everyone hold. Everyone relax. Chill, chill, chill. Leash from traveling merchants. Can you do that? People fall flat. Not too soon, I'll be sure. Oh man, stinking bass, dude. Yeah, I gave you your points back. Give me my points to throw back. Yeah, I mean, you could, <laughs> I mean, you could just recommend all the game if you want. That being said, apparently I'm very slow at actually redeeming these. I'm trying. I think I don't. I don't like playing. Like I don't want to. It's hard to find motivation to play a game if I don't have the urge to play. Anything. But I mean, I got like I, I do do them eventually. <laughs> it's just a matter of when. All right. All right. We have. Wait. It is. What time is it? Eight thirty-five. Yep. We're good. Wait. This could be it. Hold. Oh God! I still need to play Ori right, before my game pass runs out. Well. I mean, I've had the new Ori. I'm talking. Think you're, I'm assuming you're talking about the new Ori, right? I do. I will be streaming that. So if you don't, Luca, you could just watch me play it instead, huh? Pretty cool, right? Whenever I eventually do that. I also still kind of want to try um, Outer Wilds again. I think at this point I would start over, but I'd probably rush the beginning of the game or something. Because I really like. Everything I hear about the game is amazing. I just don't think I gave it a long enough shot. I did play what I streamed it twice. I think I played for four hours essentially, and I just I couldn't get it. But I feel like I would like it if I just gave it a shot. And I think I did kind of mess up too. There's like a bunch of storylines in it, and I was like jumping around the Christmas tree, you know. I'm gonna make Chris remake a drawing of the very badly drawn car, which I named Fast Race Car. Sure, I mean there's a draw, there's a draw um, point thing you could redeem. Hitman 3 comes out in 11 days. I've heard good things about the game. I, I saw some gameplay of it. I don't think I would like that, though. Bro, Ori. I didn't really... I liked the first one, but I didn't like it as much as everyone. I, I really think... One thing I've really, like, discovered is... um, 
overhyped kind of sucks because I think I would have enjoyed the game more if I wasn't super like hyped on it. Like I played it and it was good, but like, well, one, I was really enraged at it a lot, and uh, two, um, I hate it. No, I just like. I guess when people say, wow, it's the best game in the world, and you hear that enough, you have like insane expectations that can never be lived up to. Ori 2 lets you choose your own playstyle, really? I mean, I don't really know what that means, but. I, li I like the like combat in Ori 1. It was very easy, it was very simple. Like, it's standing on like a ledge, like above. Um, above like, like, it's like Ori had like a, a radius around it. Her, the thing um and then you just mash the button and then attack everything around it so it didn't really matter like the combat felt kind of dumb in Oreo. <laughs> like it, was, it almost felt overpowered because you could just attack from anywhere you could like stand behind like a giant wall and as long as it was in the radius of where you'd attack like your little orb attack thing would just kill everything in, in your way so it almost felt like kind of like combat felt a little almost like pointless to me played what you got you got a dog kayla Oh, I need Alicia dog again. Yes, so she could take it for walks, dog. Or two has more Hollow Knight like combat. Okay, that sounds cool. I mean, I loved Hollow Knight. It literally follows you everywhere. True, that's a good point, actually. I wouldn't follow me into my house. Oh. Jarman. Your island is extinct from Napoleon fish. What's up all that, huh? Did you did you did you already fish them out already? You know, it would actually be really funny if I came to this island and Jabberman just had like 20 Napoleon fish just like displayed. <laughs> it's it's a huge fish, right? Shadow size huge. That makes sense. It is a pretty big boar. That's a pretty big boar. Okay, guys, get ready to clip this because this is the Napoleon fish You're calling it. Once I catch it. Oh. What? How don't you see that, you stupid... F oh, my God. The drift. I literally slashed to the right. Go to the... Oh, my God. I'm too good. I landed right on this freaking little belly button. Guys. I'm out of laundry, and it really sucks. Okay, so I tried to do laundry for my work clothes last week, and I couldn't. I went, to, I went to the laundry room I normally use because, okay, so there's a bunch of floors in my apartment block, right? Each floor has two separate laundry rooms. Really cool. Amazing, right? I went to the first laundry room. For the first time since I've lived here for two and a half years now, it was being used when I wanted to use it. That's never happened before. I was like, fine, I'll go the other one across the, the floor. So I went to that one, and it was out of service. In fact, there was, like, drained water in it with, um, or there was water stuck in it. Like, it's stagnant water. It smelled absolutely disgusting. Um, and then today, I tried to do it again. And the stupid laundry room was being used again. That's never happened like two... And that, that happened twice in a row, man. Twice in a row. Oh, that sucks. You sit in front of the door and you push it. I mean, or you can use a leash. Fish to extinction. No, no. I'll come push it. I tried. No matter what, I'll clip it. Well, I mean, I, I wait. What did I actually get that fish? I already forget. Fail. I gotta work again tomorrow morning. What time do you start? I am worried. Yeah, I heard your first shift back was not good. That is not good. Oh, dang! It told me to get a job. How old are you again? Like all Sundays. Sunday. Oh, wait, are Sundays specifically bad? Why? Tell my brother to get a job. I told your brother. I need to go to bed early. I need to do laundry first. No! I definitely wow. miss that. It's really dumb. The laundry room is actually very close to where my apartment is. But it's still really annoying to like leave my apartment, you know? Which is so dumb sounding because it really is like so close, but it's so annoying. I mean, like, it, it's little things like that. I miss living in an actual house <clears throat> one day. If I actually go into management like my boss wants me to. Which is so cool to hear about. Like, I never... I talk to my boss about like what I want to do with my career and my job right now. 
And like, I didn't know where the hell to go from here. To be honest with my job, I was like, if I get fired or whatever, I'll just go into a new, you know, field or something. But that would be not easy to do by myself, starting a new career at the bottom page. Um, but he wants me to go into management, which, like, shocked me because, like, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at talking to people, IRL. I'm so bad. I feel like I'd have to do a lot of that, you know? He said, no, Chris, I think you do great at that. I was like, really? I mean, I'll try it. So... I might be going into a management field, which is cool. I mean, I've been I've been working at my work for like almost six years at this point, so you know, I feel like I probably know enough I could be okay with that. Maybe at least with the knowledge section. Humble brag here. Was that it? Was that it? Yes, the only fish I need, right? Let's make absolute sure. Oh, Jabberman, you're the best. I love you. All right, Jabberman, congratulations. This has earned now. This is the second time I am doing this. Where is it? How do I do this? Pause. Block Jabberman. Congratulations. <laughs> How do I make you a VIP? You saved my life, Jabberman. Wait, you're not a VIP already, are you? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Enter a new nickname. No. How do I make you a VIP? Timeout, ban, mod. I mean, do you want mod? I give you mod too, to be honest. You're, you're like, I, I really, I think you'll do fine on that. You want mod? I give you mod. You live in the pay. Buy a 200k house with a 20 year mortgage. Um, the no. <laughs> we love you, Jabberman. Whoa. I'm gonna explore your island for, for a hot second if you don't mind. Seeing this green grass is actually insane. It, it, it's weird. It, it like it feels alien. This doesn't feel right. Huh? Wait. Do I, get, do I get to keep my fish? I don't think I get to keep my fish, guys. It's in your dashboard. Wait. Can I just VIP slash? VIP. Yeah, that works. Jabberman. It didn't save, did it? Oh, you're. V <gasps> it didn't save. It only didn't save the Napoleon fish. It only <laughs> Alright, Jabberman, your VIP has been revoked officially. You'll never. <laughs> Break through TV! Oh! <laughs> oh man, I have 50 minutes, yeah, man. Can I come over there? Can you do you want to open up again? And I'll come over there and I'll use this last 15 sec 15 minutes to uh Man, what is this crap? What happened? What do you mean? How'd you mess up? <laughs> hey, how about the silly goose this time? Yeah, alright. <laughs> Send me the new <laughs> Don't go. I got a P too, so I should really do that. You know, I'm gonna do that right now before I open the gate. Oh, Jabberman, how could you do this to me after all these? What happened? What'd you do? Imagine having VIP. Like I said, VIP is purposely meant to be hard to achieve here for two reasons. One, it looks really dumb if everyone that's chatting, that's chatting has VIP status, right? Two... Um, 
it's kind of fun to like make it like really fucking hard to get. Like Kayla, Kayla's the only person with a VIP, literally because she was the very first person to ask. If anyone had asked first and like they were actually like you know super um and super like um loyal oh not loyal what's lo loyal sounds weird that makes that sound like a cult like a consistent viewer i guess like they're active active i guess activity is a good way to put that um then they would have gotten it first as well but kayla just so happened to be the first one to ask for it and so i got it to her she found the first the first easter egg that allowed her to become almighty king of the teta gang and now damn man let me well i mean get the napoleon fish and then i don't know what the heck he did <laughs> bro what did you i want to know what you did i put i put went to put my switch down and press the power button <laughs> that's funny that's okay i i i don't think for a second you did that on purpose and also it's honestly kind of funny too so that's okay <laughs> One day I'll have this stupid Napoleon fish. Beach. All right, I have 12 minutes left. Go, 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 go. Four minutes have another shot. Why not? I'm at the end of this alcohol. Uh, sure, let's finish it. Wow, wow, wow. The bottle is now empty. Actually, I have four different. I have this. I have uh, an L. Like, this is Smirnoff. I also have a Smirnoff raspberry, cherry, something like that. I used to make really, like, strong mixed drinks with it because you can't taste the alcohol in it at all with that and diets. What is it? Diet pepsi or diet coke cherry junk cherry coke or something like that and that shit's amazing it's weird because normal pepsi cherry pepsi or cherry coke or the hell it is i tried it with normal and i didn't like it at all i tried it with the diet stuff it tastes fantastic i have no idea why it's very strange Ooh, nice um it's passable meow 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 monka tos what do you monka tos Imagine not being an important person. There's a lot of badges in the chat. Like every every single person in this chat has at least one badge. So that I mean that that's good, right? <laughs> imagine being a mod. I can't imagine being a mod. Oh. Um one can only imagine Ellie. Um I put Oh okay, I read that. Uh I didn't okay, I, I'm just whoa, you're an actual frog. I didn't see your face before. It's scary. Whoa, monkey. I like monkey. Oops. Nothing happens. <coughs> I wonder if it's actually a bad idea to fish more though, because technically you get more things to fish, so it actually only increases the pool of fish you can get. We'll just still do it anyways. Is that huge? Is that huge? I don't know. I didn't ask. Rocks mention it to you because we were talking about mods really well anyways it was the only freebie it was the only freebie is my point i guess maybe i'm misremembering this i don't know wait if i'm the first one to ask for mod what no <laughs> i only vod people for two reasons if i feel i really need them um yeah, I mean, that's I, also, that's really the main reason. If I feel I really need them at the time. If, like, if there's, like, if I'm getting bombarded by, like, trolls or spam or whatever, then, you know, if someone's here, then, I mean, that's the prime opportunity to get a mod for me because I'll probably give it to you. Um, but that's not really, you know, I don't like saying that because what if, like, someone really wanted mod and then they literally, like, made a bunch of bot slash troll accounts themselves and, you know, they're here on their main account and they're spamming like, Chris, I'll help you! And they essentially manipulated me into giving them all. Like, that would be... So, that's, I don't like saying that, but, I mean... <laughs> that is how that would work, really. But don't do that, because, I mean... That would be an asshole thing to do, and honestly... Um... If you're big enough, if you're big enough of an asshole to do that, then you're probably a big enough asshole to get busted for doing something else. Then I'd probably unmod you or something. 
Rox mentioned it? What exactly did he mention, Kayla? Because that's weird to me. Rox is like, oh, yeah, Kayla should be VIP. Did you say that? <laughs> and so I really kind of screwed him there because, <laughs> I mean, I feel like he's essentially his ass. Whoa, floating bean. Whoa. I don't want to touch your coals, dude. That's for Santa to give you, all right? That's Santa's sacred gift to you, and I will not touch them. All right, that's between you and Santa Claus. If I change my Switch to P PST so it's 750 mile, can you still come over? Sure. But let, let's go till 9 first. So I have 8 more minutes. And if I don't care, oh, I mean, it depends on the bait too. Once I run out of bait, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not bothering anymore. Okay, I'm so rich in this game. I'm just, I see a shark. I'm like, pfft. Oh, whatever. It, that does nothing. Go be because I'm all. Would I be here because my mom would be incredibly pissed I'm not at her house? Wait, where are you right now? Your dad's house? Your friend's house? What's going on? I'll always at least have one badge. It was a Twitch Prime badge. Is that what that is? What is that again? Prime Gaming. What a dull name. And they would change it from Twitch Prime to Prime Gaming. Ugh. You could just tell that was definitely like the corporate size. Like... We want you to incorporate the Prime branding inside of it. Which I guess makes sense, but Prime Gaming, like, they couldn't come up with anything better than that. It's a pretty shit name for it. Take my testicles. What is that emote? Ro That's a rocks emote? What the hell? I don't know what rocks had emotes. It's better push Prime. I know why they did it. I just, like, Prime Gaming, that's the best they could come up with. You can just tell. It's like a seven-year-old man coming like, Hey, these kids like gaming? Have a prime gaming! Prime <laughs> game. Like, made, like, an entire slideshow presentation to it. It's all prime blank. I guess so. I don't know what they could have made it instead, but that's not really my... Wow. Tuna? What is that? Trevely! Oh, look how ugly he looks. It looks like he, he like ran to a wall. No people are saying Kayla from Mod 2020 or something like that, really? <laughs> I mean, that was a while ago. That was almost like a year ago already, which is insane. I think March is when I started streaming on Twitch exclusively. Uh, let's start talking, talking about mods. Rocks are still called VIP. And I asked kinda? Uh, yeah, that sounds right. So, I mean, you still did ask for it. Twitch Prime was a no-go. Prime Twitch. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing is, I think it's fine to criticize stuff. I don't really think we have to think of the perfect solution, but I think you can make fun of the solution they came up with, you know? Twitch Prime is such a better way. Or, um, honestly, Twitch. No, Twitch Prime would be fine. I don't know. I think that's okay. I mean, I think that the Prime's in there. I don't know. I don't like what it is now. That's not a large. Get out of here, you freaking fool. Oh, cool. I got scammed. I didn't get scammed. I need those channel points. Well, I mean, really, if you wanted to. Well, apparently this doesn't matter. I was going to say, you could just leave my stream all in the backgrounds. But eventually it does, like, I th I'm pretty sure the system does eventually recognize you as inactive, then you don't only get points slash, um, count as a view. I don't really understand how that works, though. Because what if you just don't chat? Like, do you, do you, does your view still not count anymore? I don't know. That was a, re that was a somewhat recent change, I know. Oh, Jim, man, I'm starting to think you really screwed. Well, I have enough bait. I should be able to catch a few more log fish. That's so funny. <laughs> Even though I prioritized YouTube until a few months ago, they were always around it. Wait, it's still weird. I made my Twitch before my main YouTube. Really? How, I don't remember how old my Twitch account is. I used to watch this site before it was even called Twitch. This used to be called Justin TV, in case some of you don't didn't know that. I used to watch that, and I've been trying to find forever. May, I doubt any of you know. But there, there's these people I used to watch. They're like called like... 
Five Guys Gaming or something like that. One of them was named Brad. I remember that because that's my dad's name. My dad. And I've been trying to figure out forever. Like, Five Guys something. Or maybe I was just thinking of the stupid restaurant. I don't know. But it was like, they play a lot of horror games. <gasps> Wait. Oh, I thought that was it. The face and the blue. Ugh. A oh, shark. Is it nine yet? No, no, we still have a few minutes. What? This game really wants to give me sharks. I made my Twitch just a day before my YouTube. Really? Interesting. I'm still locked out of my very first YouTube account, and that really sucks because I know one day it's gonna be pruned, it's gonna be deleted, and we so sad. But I, my stupid ass, I had okay. For whatever reason, I don't remember the reason why. I had to share my email with someone. Like, I needed them to check something for me or something. I don't remember. I was like 12. But so I changed my my email to that account to something very easy and simple and like easily like guessable. I mean, it wasn't really. But I'll just say it was all letters. Um, and it eventually got hacked into and the hackers changed their, or like, uh, the bots, whatever. I mean, hackers still, I guess. They changed the password, and now I can't get into my very first email account anymore, and it really sucks. And that's the email account I need to get into my YouTube, my old-ass YouTube channel. I'm going to be very sad when it's pruned. It sucks that saved every other fish but that one. <laughs> yep, it sure does, buddy. All right, we have one minute approximately, at least according to my clock on my computer. Here. Pause, champ. Is it? Damn it. All I got was a freaking Marlin, dude. Freaking Marlin, dude. All right, this is probably our last attempt. That's it! Freaking shark. <gasps> Is that large though? That might be a size 4. I can't tell. So this is almost 20 YouTube channels. Yeah, I was dumb for making my... I was like, no one's gonna guess this. Like, it was like a full-on sentence with my password. But it was, it's not a common phrase, but it was common enough that I really shouldn't have done it. Alright, there it is. Why is there no, like, easy way for me to leave? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, Jeremy, man, if you want to change the time, that's cool, but if not, that's fine, too. Time to take the shot. I need to figure out this webcam situation. I don't know why it always freezes for. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> ah, I found the house down. There's a stink bug on my desk. You... I'm just chilling there. I don't see. We don't see any bugs here. You have snow there, right, Frankers? One general webcam setup time. Like, my computer feels fine enough to run this webcam. Like, this is the standard webcam at least people used to use. But, like, it never caused any issue before. I noticed it seems to freak out and break a lot when I, um, when I poop my pants. Oh, my God, it's 10 p.m. Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. Um, I noticed this computer, or the webcam freaks out, especially when I do quick movements. That's when it will freeze. Perfect examples when I broke my keyboard when we looked at that clip like on uh, New Year's Eve there. It froze when I like swung to snap my keyboard. Fast movements, right? And then it doesn't always happen on this, but like another example is when I smash my TV. There's multiple times where I'd like, where I'd actually like swing a hammer or whatever. When I swing and I'm like super fast, that's when the camera will lay, oh, that's when it like freeze. So I don't know if I just can't process the quick movement or what the hell's going on, but I'll tell you what, I don't like it. On and off. On and off, it, it wait what? It is right around freezing. Though this bugger should not be awake. Just change the time. Okay, I'll just uh wait. No, I mean you don't. Yeah, just let me know when you have the code. I can't sell this crap anymore. But then I guess you can sell it once you get to your island. I only have 
<laughs> well, I only have 40 more chances, which is actually quite a bit. Wait, I should just be looking for more bait, to be honest. I'm so far. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. What am I good? Aha! Another clam! Oh my god. Yo, my GoPro used to freeze and drugs, so I replaced it with a better camera. I have a DSLR. It's literally right there, actually. It's on a tripod still from when I recorded my, um, my latest, or my uh, video that will. Not, not the one that's coming out tomorrow, but the one after that. I know I could use that as my uh, webcam, but, um, I don't have a good spot for it, man. I could maybe make it work if I got, uh, those, those, um, mounts. For monitors and I've considered that I kind of need a new desk to be honest which really sucks because I actually really like this desk but the drawer is falling apart uh I have a DSR lens what is it I have a a77 Sony Sony I'm making a whole new section to my house for the stupid snowman Ooh. I keep thinking you're talking about Animal Crossing Kayla. I'm like wait no she's not <laughs> I can't believe I got to donate a pulling fish. How do I do that, man? I was so careful with all my donations, and still I messed up. I done goofed it. All right, thanks, Jai man. I'm gonna go uh, empty my inventory. Besides the fish, I'll probably just go just go ahead and sell those before you uh, come on over. But I'm also gonna make this bait. Wait, what? What did I do? Cool. Their soup, easy to make. What, snowman? Yeah, but she has an emotional connection to that snowman. <laughs> Mr. Moji's hanging out beside me is great. I have a perfect little, like, sec, like, a little, um, what are those called? Oh, man. Ottoman. I have an Ottoman. And I have it right beside my desk. It actually fits perfectly. Perfectly in this corner here. I, I guess I gotta show you guys. Ready? Do, 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 do. There he is. You see him? And there's my two dive Coke cans. Cool. I like a little autumn in there. And that like, it fits perfectly. What used to be there was that stool that I smashed a watermelon on that I exploded a piece of, a piece of it off of. Um, but that fell apart eventually. Which sucks because that was my main. I use that like. <laughs> I have this pretty big desk, right? And then I have a little chair, a little stool beside me. And then and then I used to have the 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 um also look at the outside of notes. It looks cool. It's all snowman themed now instead of uh, Christmas themed. Cool. Um I used to have the stool there instead, but once that like actually fell apart completely because it did break and just explode, it was real fun. Um I just I just I got rid of it. Good god dude. Weedy ass town. Christ, flurs. Oofy. They're super easy to make. Also, Frank, you're like saying killed two of the three someone. Pretty sad. <gasps> yeah, they're not too bad to make. <gasps> this music is so sad. <laughs> oh shit! I missed the I missed the um I missed this clump of Ifu wait. This one up here. Cool. I'm AFK on AC if you want to take your time getting bait. Uh, well, I, actually, I should at least get the bait that's in my storage because I have one, like, partial stack. I got locked on my mom's. Oh, no. She's going to be... She's going to break all my shit. Why? Wait, is she home? Why isn't she answering the door? Is it because you got home too late? Is, is she like, I'm locking the house at 10 regardless if you're home or not? Is that what's going on there? Where's my bait? That's bait. Scanning for bait. Scanning for bait. Why is there no way to like search for bait, huh? It's right here. Additional two. Cute. She's asleep? Just go like crawl to a window, a window and knock on it. That's what I would do. Also, I guess it turns out she didn't care that much after all, huh? 
You guys don't have like a spare key anywhere? I told her to leave the back door unlocked for me. She be even more mad? Well, like, what are you gonna do? You're just trapped outside? Just wake her up, dude. You'll, you'll be okay. Well, you gotta get in somehow. The longer you wait, the worse it's gonna be. Maybe she has, like, what time does she go to bed? Oh, God, my dad's calling me. It's 10 p.m. What does my dad want? What the hell? My dad's normally sleeping at 10 p.m. He called me earlier on stream when I was playing Age of Calamity, so this isn't like. Chris, I didn't talk to you! This person just died! There's no way it's that. My lamp just fell over my lampshade. Did that change the lighting at all? It didn't. Weird. I'm gonna freeze to death. Fuck it. <laughs> Screw it, I'll just freeze to death. 8DG. 8DG. 4G. 4G. All right, while we do this, it's time for another shot. I don't know why I'm really drinking tonight. I kind of felt like it. One second. Wait, where did I put the bottle? Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is what I used to use for my main mix. My favorite mixed drink now? Well, it's probably also still a Long Island iced tea, but this is real fucking good. This is Cherry Smirnoff. Combine this. You could do two shots per drink with this. Um, so, uh, I, Diet Pepsi. I think it's Diet, uh, Diet Pepsi. It has to be Diet. Diet Cherry Pepsi. Two shots of Smirnoff Cherry with an entire can of uh, Diet Coke Cherry is really fucking good. And if you don't like the taste of alcohol, if you are on drink or lock me, you don't taste the alcohol at all. It's actually like insane. With two shots, it's actually insane. It's actually insane. Uh, my day is midnight for me. Oh, I see. Oh, true. Time zones. I was mad at other people for being like, it's only 10 p.m. It's like, dude, your time zone isn't the only one in the world. But now I just did it. I'm, I'm, I'm severely sorry. Please forgive me. Gonna freeze to death. All right, time to take another shot. Wait. Delicious. Yeah. My cherries very. After drinking shots of normal Smirnoff without any flavoring to it. Have the cherry sure feels weird, man. This grass is so green, dude. This grass is so green. How'd you do that? Thank God there's no paths in this game. <gasps> That's a big ball. Get out of here, you fool. Thanks, Jam Man, for this. I appreciate it. Wait, I'm using the wrong stack of bait. Stack of bait. Doesn't really matter, I guess. God! Ha! Damn it. It's just a Sebastian. A Sebastian. A Sebastian, if you will. Alright, let's switch to the stack. Dude, I love my cats. Guys, I watched I watched some TV earlier today, which was a very rare occurrence for me by myself on my TV. But I laid on this couch that's behind me, and Moji actually cuddled me on. He like called me like on my chest right here. It was super adorable. You know, Jetman, <gasps> Jetman, don't, 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 do not turn off your switch. Do not turn off your switch. Fail. Do not. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, I'm scared. Please don't do it, man. Come on, man. Come on, please. I'm begging you. Just don't touch it. Just don't just leave it on the floor. He's like, I can't resist. I can't resist. I would hit the power button. I would hit the power button. Oh, I scared Moji away. I'm sorry, Moji. I'm just playing. I scared Moji away. <laughs> Chris, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jason Bourne. Oh my god, I've done it after all these years! I can't wait to donate this and still not to get get the speech from others. Hey, I say old thing. You found oh look at that red rose. You found all the red in the dinner speech in this world! In this world! 
And then I'm gonna walk through it and I'm gonna be missing a fish that doesn't appear to walk over. I'm gonna be real screwed. Although, I, honestly, he might not say anything because I don't have all the, um, you know, the, the dudes. I don't have all the diving creatures. I could do that now, too. I haven't been streaming this for over an hour, but I'm having fun and the chat's kind of active still, so it's like, why not, right? Bring ding 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 ding. All right, roll call. Everyone that's here, say one in chat right now. Yer, yes. Yes. Excellent. Four, three, two, one. One. All right, Milky Way, Jaiman, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Try hard seven in chat. Oh, no. That bitch has been sleeping for years. Just me. It's only you. It's only you. I still have a little look at this. I'm a failure. See that? It's a little bit of liquid and I still a little bit of liquid. Little bit of liquid. Damn it, I forgot to mark down. Was it like 115 ish? 115 ish. Napoleon. Wait, or I can make it here. Maybe I should make it here instead. The, the, the thumbnail I'm talking about. Eh? The thumbnail, eh? Eh? Yes. One for love, nothing more. Quite the catch you brought, the, the stately and the boar, the bonnet, the Napoleon fish is truly something to behold. Those beady eyes, that bumpy head, the bold blue green coloring. And this quirky creature is quite indigent due to the variety of factors. Means they we must do our very best to take care of our lumpy friend in its environment. I swear to God, I've seen this before. Like, hello, did my game not save? Does he not comment on it? Who? What? You found the missing piece of the museum's fish puzzle, Chris? All right. One seventeen twenty. Er, yeah. uh, that is to say, we had a fish-shaped hole in our fish collection. Now we do not. My feathers got so flush when the museum collection is completed. For what it your fishing profession and generosity is greatly appreciated. Petit, our museum is a better place because of you today. It's the final fish damn Fish puzzle equals salt. After all these years, eh? I can't believe it. Now, where would that be? Is that for real, for real? Is that for real, for real? The, um... This section, perhaps? Oh, Kyle's here. What's up, dude? You know I've done something real good or real bad when you have a fish named after you. So I wonder what the Napoleon fish guy was like. <gasps> Oh, yeah, this is my inner motion was just a second ago. Good on you, Chris. Damn, bothers is fast AF, dog. Gigas. Damn, that thing is large. I did not think it would be in here, to be honest. <laughs> or maybe right here, 1840. The final fish. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, you know, I'm feeling it. Let's uh, let's let's play a bit longer. It's literally 10 p.m. But I'm kind of a gangster, guys. So I'm gonna play a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Well, that's the last time I'll probably ever ever need to use bait again. I don't see a reason why I'd ever need to use bait again. So. So fish and bogs have officially been a hundred and fossils. So it's, wow, it's a diving. I'm not, I, like I was too sure if Blathers would say anything unique for doing the fish because like the diving is a different section, but it's put in the same section as the fish. So it's almost like they're combined, at least in the museum sense, right? <clears throat> I wish I could give you like a special diving suit. Like you wear it and you get like twenty percent spawn rate or something. Chris is a thug? Finally, people are recognizing. Put respect on the name, dog. Uh, I guess I could just sell these fish. I'm beautiful! Mm 
Hmm. The only issue if I do this is I can't call my dad anymore. Because I don't want to call him too much later. There's no way he's going to be up for... I'm shocked he's awake right now. So there's no... There's no way he'll be awake once I do an inventory of... Uh, um... Dive creatures. But maybe he will. Who knows? Moji. Oh, he's at my door. Can you guys see him? No, you can't. He's cut off a bit. He's right. There's an there's an 850 second mil, millisecond delay. So it's right there. See that? You can maybe see his head peek up a little bit if you. If you look extra carefully, you catch a glimpse of my cat that you've seen many times before. Oh, it's really annoying. So, I'm 25 years old, going on 26, right? I'm an old ass man. And now that I'm lived a little, you know, on this point. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I've noticed it's real fucking annoying to me when um, people I know on Facebook have a kid. Why? Because literally their their profile becomes like a worship spot for their child. It's really weird. Like, I've had friends on Facebook change their identity to their child, essentially. What I mean by that is they will do literally nothing but post pictures of their kid giant albums of their kid um, and change their profile picture to their kid and upload nothing but pictures of their kid forever I've, I've had friends on Facebook that I haven't seen a new like picture of what they look like in four or five years because all they do is they upload pictures of the kid and change their profile picture to the kid it's just weird man I don't know it's like it's all like look like I was never afraid to have kids or anything like that, but looking at that scares me a bit. Cause to me it's like, do I die when I have a kid? <laughs> do I just cease to exist after I have a child? Cause that's what it feels like. It feels like after you have a child, you stop existing and instead like your entire life revolves around your child. Laughter is your brain getting so excited it forgets how lungs work. Hers, <laughs> the best malfunction. Sick day, you still let it seem. Like, I was honestly never afraid to have a child until I started, until people I knew started having kids. And it's not just like one person either. It's like a lot of people are like that. It, it, it just weirds me out. It's like that person that had the kid may as well be dead and like they don't exist anymore and the only thing that ever matters ever again forever and ever all man is their child and that's it. Also, I never did this at the start of the stream and it just popped my head now and I want to do it before I forget. So here we go. Here we go. Please photo. Cool. Delete. Oh yeah, that's a follow up being glitched. Wait, no, change my mind. I want to keep that one. After toy day yesterday, I was up waiting for late sign up. I was falling asleep at some point, turning down a fist of tree in front of Risen Students tomorrow. Can we get a picture? And with that, I'll get back to work. Cool. Thank you, Isabel. Pretty cool. Busy toy day. We do a little presents. Get to turn to the neighbors. You're the star of the show. I love the gift you got me. You're the best. Oh, I'm gonna get from Santa too. How does it feel to be co best with Santa? I bet it feels warm like marmalade between your toes. Alright, probably I'm pretty far behind on showing these clips I take specifically for the stream. It's funny you can see like the resolution drop. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can definitely see like staring at my screen here that like this is not recorded at like the full quality. You get a present from your top of the one from Santa was gravy on toy day cake. Right, you up a little? I was gonna treasure what you gave me for a long time. Wham! Yeah, January. Or sorry, December thirty first is the day. Like all the villagers comment on your your um Animal Crossing ploys. This is just me doing another purpose on them. There is. 
Meow, 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 meow. Oh yeah, is Rex moving? I almost feel like I should keep this. I want to keep this clip. Rex moved. My final. My that was my very first villager that moved in. Mira and Sterling were my OG villagers, but Rex was the first guy that ever moved in. So I'm gonna keep that clip unless I delete by accident. Was that cheap? That always has eyes closed. Always closed. I got Wisp at some point. Um, big festive tree. I got that. That was long after Christmas though. Oh, this is Rex moving out, I guess. Here's our final conversation. Hey, I'm waiting for you. I want to say goodbye. And thanks for the advice. I couldn't decide if I want to move or not. It meant a lot to me. I'm going to shove all my snacks and my bug friends and my memories. I'm going to have an adventure. Goodbye, Rex. Sure, you're a piece of shit. Sunny Beach flooring. But you're my piece of shit. That was an accident screenshot. Frozen partition. Oh, this is from today. So I learned a... And then I got Wisp on my island. And then I got Dom's photo somehow. I don't know what this is. There's no way I hold of a button by mistake, is there? I don't know why I took that for. I haven't learned how to make a boomerang! What'd you guys saw already? And that DIY- This the DIY workbench, man! I've been wanting this since the very beginning of playing this game, and I finally got it! Almost a year into playing it! It must have been a mistake. Oh, here's Kyle's house, since you guys haven't seen that yet. He likes instruments, as apparently all these um, smug villagers do. And then I got Gulliver. This might be it. Yeah, that, we're done. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm diving. Oh, yeah, I pulled another shot. All right, once we go down to grab the new sea feature, I will uh, take that shot. Why not? I have so many images of, and videos of this game. I am also just take them for um, the stream's sake. But I do like keeping some of them, like, like uh, Rex moving out. Oh man, that cherry. It's, it's very weird after taking just the normal non-flavored Smirnoff. My house is always so messy. So if you're if you're wondering like wh what the hell is this thing right here? I filmed a video the other day about um, well it was like a week ago at this point a flash media player and I don't like putting my stuff away in case I need to re-record some stuff. But I've already like I normally leave them exactly where I've been using them. Oh yeah, I forgot about there's a lot of bubbles. I forgot about that for the uh, lobster. I'm looking for the lobster by the way. This is why I'm doing this. Um, But I already moved them, so at this point, like, I may as well put them away, because like they're no longer in the spot they used to be, so it doesn't matter anymore. I sent them to my uncle? <laughs> How old's your uncle? Does he know what the hell's going on? Does he play a lot together? Oh, cool! That's cool. Because we can't meet up since he lives hours away. Aw, that's so sweet! Oh, he's like... I, I, yeah, okay, I, I, I got it now. I thought, like... Immediately, I pictured like this old person just like having no idea what the hell is going on. Does he, does he has like how long has he played Animal Crossing for? That's really cool, bro. Nah. He's such a huge gamer. That's cool. He has four different switches? Why? Is he rich? I don't it blows my mind when people get a second switch specifically to have a second Animal Crossing Islands. That's insanity to me. Like people like you wanna spend five hundred dollars just so you can have a second file of Animal Crossing? Oh my god, how much 
disposable income do you have? He has four switches! Anjali, what's up? Imagine having that much money. I know, right? What's up, Anjali? It's been a long ass time. How's it been? I remember you. I remember you. And if that doesn't make you feel special and like you should come to my streams more often, I don't know what will. <laughs> Imagine rewarding Nintendo for their dick moves. True, Nintendo does do a lot of dick moves. But you know who has been doing an even bigger of a dick move, but is also a Japanese company? Is um Shueisha, Shue, Shueisha, which is a anime company. Um, they produce uh, such fine art such as Dragon Ball and One Piece. I'm sure you've at least heard of one of those things. Um, th the other day, this is insane. They started giving strikes on Twitter to people that have anything that they make content with. They started giving strikes to people. I'm talking about Dragon Ball. I'm talking about One Piece. Like even if you ha if you posted a single screenshot from that from those mangas from those anime on your profile at all, you got a copyright strike on Twitter. It is insane and extremely enraging. I'm special. You sure are, Anjali. You sure are. It's seaweed, isn't it? Or that thing. <laughs> What's with the bottom of it? It almost looks like a, you put it in a basket or something. I actually have a pretty good buzz going on right now. <gasps> it's not moving, so it's not anything good. Man. Uh, Alright, I have a slow decent amount of space. Long Claw hasn't supported Nintendo since the recent shit, really. I mean, he doesn't really have to support Nintendo after buying four fucking Switches. <laughs> How much money is a Switch in, in the US, by the way? I want to say I spent like $700 on mine or something like that. But, you know, in Canadian, you know. So, it seems more than a real is. Hey, something towards me. I'm a new Brunswick? Oh shit, really? You're a new Brunswick? What's that like? I don't know, you're Canadian. You know, I always feel like my province of Manitoba is forgotten about a lot. You know, especially it, it's it's most noticeable when like bands are like traveling. It's like we're we're doing it. We're traveling to Canada, which really means we're going to Toronto and Vancouver. That's uh, an enemy or seaweed. Yep. But like, I talked to someone the other day. They were talking about how forgotten their province is. Like. Your problem, your problems are forgotten. What about Manitoba? And they're like, I'm from, I think it was Newfoundland. And I was like, oh, never mind. That's a good point. The eastern provinces, like after Quebec, anything more eastern than Quebec, like no one ever talks about. I see the occasional worldwide story in Manitoba, specifically Winnipeg, but like. Who the fuck ever talks about like New Brunswick or Newfoundland Labrador? You know, it's like our, our Prince Edward Island, like Prince Edward Island especially. Like, who the hell would ever talk about them? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like that sucks, man. I got it's already super like shitty to be like, wow, we're so forgotten and don't give a shit about us. But then it's like, damn, at least we're not the Eastern Province. <laughs> Um, people have been coming here a lot too. Yeah, I, I've never gone. The farthest east I've gone, I've ever gone, is like the Ontario Manitoba border. That's it. PI is the greatest. I hear it's great there. I would love to go there. Here, Pikmin. Oh, hello. Why are you guys still here? Go, go to bed. All right. It's, it's 10 p.m. for you. It's probably like freaking like 1:30 a.m. for the rest of you. Go to bed. All right. Listen to me. All right. He's still in Saskatchewan. I've been to Regina. No, wait, no, I haven't. No, I've been. Oh, what's that place called? Oh, shit. I forget. Oh, one second. I gotta figure this out now. Um, where is the town I used to go? So I used to live in a place called Grandview, Manitoba. It's a tiny town of 1,000 people. I'm actually pretty sure this is the first time I've ever seen the name of the town I used to live in. And then we would... Yorkton! That's where I used to go. I used to go to Yorkton once a year. 
in Saskatchewan for school supplies. When I see you living grand for you, man, it's home. And, um... That was my only experience in Saskatchewan ever. I mean, it's pretty much the exact same as Manitoba. It is the flat prairie province. 12.30 a.m. 8.30 for me? I live in the Eagle Country? What's the Eagle Country? What? I ain't friends with tree. That's cool. I didn't know you were uh, Canadian, Nelly. That's cool. I was in Saskatoon for four days. I have, I have a friend that... Well, she lived in Sask Saskatoon. I don't think she does it anymore, though, actually. I'm in Batterford, and it was ass. <laughs> See, I always feel like, no matter where someone moves, you know, it's like the grass is always greener on the other side, you know? It's like you think, it's like, wow, this place is so much cooler, I can't wait to move there, and then you move there, and it's like... I mean, sure, there might be some things that are better, but there's things that are worse, too. The only reason why I don't like my city is the crime rate. We're like, we're like the crime capital of the country. I think at one point we're also the crime capital of the entire North American or something like that. We're, we're like, like my city, Winnipeg, is like the Detroit of Canada. All right, and I'm sure you guys have heard of like all the shit crime in Detroit, right? Like we are literally like that. That's how bad our and like shit our crime is. But that's the one thing like that sucks. Um, yeah, that emote did not work, Floating Bean. I don't know what the heck that was supposed to be, but... <laughs> Thanks for trying. Is that a cry emote? What's that? Joey Joe Rip. Whose channel is this? That is not a good emote. <laughs> oh, this is a decently sized streamer. Oh, well, he has, wow, he has 961 followers, but his, like, streams have, like, 100 plus views each. So, mm. I have 200 plus each, which is actually really good. You live in California? That sounds fun. You know, living 25, like, I'm 25, right? Oh, shit, this could be the lobster, potentially. Why is it going towards the shore for also be the Venus fly bass or whatever the hell it's called. Look at the Saska Saskatchewan. Yeah, I'm like honestly surprised how many like Canadian fans I have. Cause like anytime like if I picture the the like stereo what the hell there's two now. If I picture like the stereotypical Twitch viewer or YouTube viewer, I, I like I picture a US citizen. California yeah, beaches and sand and cacti. Cool. What are you doing? You still use? Coastal hours. You don't get much snow here. Yeah, yeah. I know. You, like, on the coast, no one really gets much snow. Like, I, I love to... Like, I had, my late uncle, he, he lived in um, Vancouver Island, and he loved it there. Um, and yeah, like, I can't, like, I can't say I would be against moving, because... Like, at least to the coast in general, because I know it's generally pretty warm all year round. They're not like too warm. Like I, I don't like the colds. Oh shit! No, we're so close. It's possible. Hold. <gasps> what? Oh fuck! All right, we gotta get to the other side then. This thing's so fast. I can barely swim faster than above the water. No. Get him. Yeah, that ain't happening. Never mind. It's probably the Venus fly bass for the hell. 10 degrees on Christmas. It's actually been super warm this winter here. It's actually been very nice. It's not good for, you know, global warming sake. But, I mean, I can't complain, man. It's been, like, as someone that works outside all day, it's been real fucking great working. Like, it's been almost around zero degrees. And I can't, like, I can't deny I'm a pretty big fan of it. I love the fact that it's been so warm out. <laughs> I hate the cold a lot. We've had, I think, was that it? Oh! 
Oh my god! Yes! I got a lobster! Objective complete. Holy shit! I didn't think that would be it. I thought it would be the Venus flytrap or whatever. I didn't even have my, my, um... My word pad pulled up here. Diving creatures. Opening. Aw, oh, champ. That means we officially have two more to cast. Lobster! Well, according to this guide, it's small, but that wasn't true. Um, it's actually huge. Or large, I mean. And it's available all day long from December to January in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's worth 5,000 bells. Oh my fucking god. That means we have two more diving creatures left to catch. One is the spider crab and one is the firefly squid. Both of which are available in March. Lobster, there he is. I don't, I've always been confused. Why, like, why is the, well, no, the left? Why is the left claw of the lobster so much greater than the right? Very white Christmas is 50 degrees up here. Yeah, I mean, I... I would like Christmas if, like, we had snow when it was cold between the hours of, uh... Or between the days of, like, December 1st up until, um, like, I don't know. What? Really? Hey, emoji. Oh. Sorry, I'm, I'm paying attention to Mojo right now. Damn! If it was, like, cold from December 1st up until, like, you know, like, Jan... Damn it. Up until, like... Damn it. Up until, like, January... Or, like, maybe February... If it started warming up on... Jan 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 if it started warming up on February 1st, I would fucking... I'd be absolutely fine with winter. But no... It starts to get real fucking cold here. November 15th. Um, generally until maybe like April is when we start like the snow melts and stuff. If we're lucky, April is when snow melts. I never get snow on Christmas ever and I never have. That sucks. So that, that's the one thing I'm happy about. Like, I love having a white Christmas. It sucks when it's not. But hey, that isn't that a lobster. It's interesting a few fascinating facts about the lobster. What if I love nothing more? The lobster is rather famous for its two large claws, but did you know that, in fact, it has six claws total? Of course, the, ti the four tiny claws aren't as threatening as its large crusher claw is. The pincer can be a hundred pounds of pressure on in, in a pinch. Just a little something to bear in mind when a lobster tries to shake the hat. Well, with that, we have literally two more things left to donate. At least, actually, wow, two more unique things for Blathers to say. And I say that because we have a lot of art left to donate, right? A lot of art. Um, but we only have two more diving creatures. Uh, every single art piece you donate to Blathers, he says the exact same thing. He says he'll promptly display it. I think he doesn't give any like cool fun facts or anything. I used to live in a town where it didn't snow, then we moved. <laughs> Just specifically for that reason, huh? Oh, this place doesn't have any snow. It sucks. Oh, brother, this place stinks. All right, I'm looking for the lobby. Where's the lobby at? Rolling snowmen is surprisingly janky. In this game? Yeah, I would agree with that. Honestly, I would guess it's in here somewhere, but... I ain't seen it. So yeah, we literally only have two more unique things to donate, and then it's just artwork after that. I am back. One day, welcome back, Luca. Are you guys disgusted by the fact I'm not wearing any pants? Pants? I feel like it'd be in here. Barrelai! Eh? Huh? Pretty cool. What? Oh, frick, it's not in here, is it? What the frick? Bruh, November's 20 degrees for me? What? And 
I've, I I was just thinking about this literally today. What is the perfect place to live? To get like a little bit of winter, like, you know, get a little bit of snow, have snow around Christmas time. But it, where it doesn't really get that cold. Where is like the perfectly optimal place to live? Because I feel like that's gotta be, that's gotta be a thing somewhere, right? Like the perfect place to live, like temperature wise. See, what people don't really understand is, you know, you'd think the more farther north you live, the colder it's going to be. And generally, that's right. But it's more how close to the ocean you live. That seems to play a bigger factor. If you live, like, really, like, on the ocean, essentially, what ends up happening is the ocean keeps you warm. Oh, my God. There's actually so much. What the hell? No lobster. Um, I didn't know that until I was much older, but no. And because I live, like, in the literal middle of my country, like, there's no ocean, there's no ocean to, to warm us up. So what ends up happening is, like, we get, like, this crazy wind that, like, completely, like, freezes us, essentially. Oh, there's lobster right there. How did I miss that? How did I miss that multiple times? There she blows. Wow, that's awesome. So March, we don't have to worry about diving for until up until March. Pretty poggers. Like Memphis, maybe once snow comes here, it can be a bit bad, but almost never does. What do you mean by a bit bad? Like you just get really crazy snowstorms. The Rimini. I meant stomach IRL. All right. <laughs> stomach is surprisingly janky. I guess I've only heard the word janky used in like regards to video games. Alright, I'm gonna do this. This is my final shot of the night, because I'm actually uh I'm pretty drunk right now. A little bit. I, like I mean I'm like, you know. Like, do I seem that much different to you guys? Yo, what's up? Kinky bikini, what's up? Hi, big boy. Um <laughs> How very flirty of you. Yo, what's up? Like Memphis, maybe they get snow. Memphis is a place I've heard of, but I have no idea where it even is. Underground. Where's Memphis? Oh, I literally have my map. Still up, still. Where's Memphis? Texas? Tennessee. But you're the only 10 I see. Yeah, like that. Like it's pretty far south in Tennessee or, or Arkansas. Wait, what? Where is this? Wait, is it, does it board? Oh my god, Memphis is on the border of, uh, Arkansas. I don't know if I'd want to live in the U.S. right now, though. You guys, the U.S. seems to be going through some shit right now. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but, um, there's some, uh, shit going down at this very moment. So I don't know if I'd want to live there at this very moment. <laughs> it never snows enough to cancel anything. I mean, same here. The only thing that would be canceled when we get, like, a crazy snow. And, like, once again, this is coming from me that lives in, like, one of... I think we're rated the number three coldest city in the world or something like that. There's, like, a place in Serbia and, like, a place in, um... Where's that? Oh, man, I can't remember the name. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we're literally the third coldest city in the entire world or something like that. And I'm pretty sure we also hold the world record for the biggest temperature discrepancy in the world. Wait, is that the right word? By discrepancy, I mean, like, we have extremely cold winters, but we also have extremely hot summers, too. So it's very, like, it's weird, you know? Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, I should have went outside yet. Tennessee, I think. Um, but like when I lived in, in a small country town, or even here, the worst thing that would happen when we get like a crazy snowstorm, school would never, I've never in my life, I never had a day where school would be canceled. What would happen instead was buses would be canceled. Mostly because it'd be way too cold, which is very weird, because I don't understand how that even, like, like, do they not plug in? Like, do they not do they not plug in their their buses to a to a block heater for their like what the hell? Um, sure, we'll keep the pearl. But the pearl. But like buses would be canceled. School itself would never be canceled. And since I never had to bus to school, 
I would always like ride my bike to school or something like that. I would never, ever, ever, like, I'd always have to go to school to school. Which was kind of fun, to be honest. Like, as weird as it sounds, going to school on snow days was really fun because we would never actually, at least in middle school, elementary and middle school, what happened is instead of, you know, we got to do normal schoolwork, there'd be like, okay, so there'd be like three of us there or four or five or something like that. And, and it'd be so little because I lived in a small country town for a long time, right? And, oops. and what would end up happening was like most of the students would live out of out of the town and in the country or something like that. And their only way to get to the school would be um, through the buses. So what ended up happening is, I mean, they just end up having to stay home because there's no way, other way for them to really get to school. Um, so it would just be whoever lived in town. And I mean, I lived in town, so what would end up happening was I would have to go to school and there'd be like five other people there. <clears throat> and then like, we would do nothing. <laughs> We'd play games all day. It was actually kind of fun and I missed that. I remember at one time, just like, we went to the, we went to the gymnasium and everyone in the entire school was there. Like, not even just my grade, like, I'm grade five or grade six. It would literally be everyone that was at the school that day. And we would just play games in the gym. It was actually, like, it was legitimately a fun time. And I remember just thinking, like, wow, I'm gonna probably remember this moment for the rest of my life. And I sure fucking do, man. I sure fucking do. I can tell you've been drinking, but you're obviously not wasted. The thing is, this is as drunk as I normally get. Like, I never get... Honestly, I was shocked they got snow there. Okay, gentlemen, I'm actually curious. You say you can tell I've been drinking. What is different about me? Because, like, I feel... Like, I do feel the alcohol. However, I don't really think my, my speaking patterns have changed all that much. There are probably multiple cities called Tennessee. Nope, I definitely slowed there. Um... Yeah, they're worried about the the bus getting on slippery ice. Oh, really? Wait, really? Is that why buses don't run on snowy days? Because they're worried they're gonna like crash or something. That's actually extremely fascinating. I never thought about it like that before. Did I talk to you today? Um, I thought it was warm year round in Memphis. Yeah, like the closer you get to the middle of a continent, the colder it gets. Which is like, I didn't know that until it's like probably like i probably shouldn't have that much earlier but i did not i'm losing my voice right now which is weird i haven't been yelling that much i raged a little bit on my um age of climbing stream earlier today but there never comes to school where i live in saskatchewan really never like, well okay well yeah okay do you mean do they ever cancel buses though and also did you live in a city you probably said we live right after yet or i know you live in new brunswick right now but now I have a class of 8 to 10. Really? Okay, yeah. My, 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 we, I had 13 people in my class when I lived in um, Graham. But you... Wow, I have 8 to 10? That's crazy, man. It was a bit more goofy, really? <laughs> Alright, I'm okay with this, though, JPEG. Get out of here, foul flower! I'm gonna end stream very soon, by the way. I have the opposite problem when I moved. Only the city kids could drive slash walk to school and the bus couldn't reach where I lived. Really? Mm -hmm. Then a town with snowstorms that were kind of wake. Snowstorm? Wake. They never had snow days or council buses? Really? Hmm. But even here, now they live in a city of about a million people. Like, they. Like, I've. Can't. Bu <sighs> Wait, do buses get canceled? Buses? Bustles? Ding, 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 dong. I don't actually remember. I guess I don't really, I didn't really pay attention. I think they do. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so some in general kind of whack. I love snow days, man. This might be misremembering, but I feel like it's true. I was almost, I feel like I was almost kind of excited for snow days in school because of like how dead it was. My most like profound memory with a snow day is when I went to, when I went to school in grade eight 
and my classmate, her name was Abby. She brought a, oh, I didn't make the summit today. Oh. She brought, she brought a jar to school. Now, <laughs> this jar wasn't just any, or any old ordinary jar. It was a jar with a dead mouse in it. Now, why the hell was there a dead mouse in this jar? Well, okay. It's also kind of funny. And, like, I hate to bring this up, and I hope this isn't taken the wrong way or anything. But, um, her... Man. Oh, 30k. Wow. All right. So, her entire family was obese, right? And her cat was obese. And essentially, her story was, her cat was so obese, <laughs> it sat down and killed the cat. Or, sorry, it killed the mouse. And that was the, that was the very same mouse she had in a bay. And that was fucking so funny to me and everyone in the class. And she just had this, I went to school. She wasn't, when I when I got to class, she wasn't she wasn't at her desk. She was, she was away doing whatever, I don't know, maybe she's in the bathroom, something like that. But her, her, there was just this dead mouse in a jar on the corner of her desk. And I was like, what is, why is there a dead mouse here? <laughs> why is it preserved in this pristine jar? And she just brought it to school because she thought it was funny that her obese cat sat on it and killed it. <laughs> and that, that's my most profound, um, snow day memory. And it, like, it, like, it doesn't even, like, matter that it was a snow day at all. It just, it sticks out my mind because, like, there was, like, three or four of us there that day. Also, speaking on that class, I remember, like, one of my classmates that, like, it was a girl I had, like, a really big crush on. Um, she would always get a ride to school every day because she lived, like, kind of in a weird spot out of town. She would get a ride every day from the teacher of that class, of my class, and her class, too. Imagine, imagine every morning being picked up by your teacher. In grade five, um, no, wait, whoop. No, wait, this is a different grade. This is, like, grade five or six, I think. Yeah, this is, like, grade five or six. But like, imagine being picked up by your teacher to go to school every day. Isn't that, is that a weird thought? Here it is. Place over one million and school never got cancelled. Interesting. Yeah, school's never been cancelled here. Or at least, not yeah, I've never experienced school itself outright being cancelled. But, like, it may as well have been. Like, there was literally no point in me going to school back then. During those snow days. Like, we would literally just go to the gym class and play, like, fucking, like, dodgeball and shit. There's no point. But it was fun. Because it went from being school to just being, like, a like a gym, gym. Like, it's just having gym all day. And I love gym, so... There's people that didn't like Jim very much. Maybe they'd think a bit differently, but um, yeah, I fucking love that shit, man. Brunswick was worth four, fourth in crime skills. Oh, really? New Brunswick? Wait, do you got why? I'm curious. Is it drug related? Cause uh, I feel like the cities that don't have a whole lot going on, they have it a bit worse. Please. Damn, that's like my fifth in a row I've had. Just not good enough, man. Oh, I'll take a shot for that crap. It was 11 p.m. Good lord. <laughs> that is funny. Our friends got picked up by their teachers. That's so, like... I don't know, man. Maybe it's just, like, my social awkwardness coming out. But I feel like I would have, like, sincerely loathed getting picked up by a teacher. I'd be scared to talk or anything. Yep, and break and entering. I'm used to it. I mean, like I said, I, like, I don't think we're number one crime in um, Canada anymore, actually, which is pretty cool. But um, I'm pretty sure we're, like, I think we're, like, number two or number three. And yeah, like, it sucks, man. I don't know. Like, it's like, it's well known, like, you just, you cannot walk downtown, um, during night. If, like, if, if, unless you have a death wish, you do not walk around downtown at night. You just don't do it. Um, I'm gonna... Horizontally, yeah, I like it much better horizontally. Horizontally! Quiero! Um, yeah, you, you just do not do that at night unless you want to die, essentially. Um, and it's us because I would love to just, you know, go for a walk, but it, it's, it's, it's sketchy, man. 
You never know when you can just get like you can literally get like robbed at any moment. It sucks that like have to worry about the whole time. Some guy snuck into the house while we were asleep, so it was a good night. What? Oh my one of the scariest stories I ever heard, which sounds very similar to yours, was I had a friend that lived in South Africa. And from what I hear, all right, this is just what I hear. You know, I'm a doctor, but there's kind of where your eyes are whizzing all around. From what I hear, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of racism down there, you know? Um, the British took over South Africa, and now they're kind of, you know, they're swaying back to being like a, like a, a nation mostly for like black people, right? But the thing is, there's like essentially a race war going on down there. The amount of server got 100 people, that's awesome! But like my friend who was white that was born in South Africa, she told me a story in the fourth grade about the reason why they moved out of South Africa was because one night she was in bed sleeping and then a house intruder came to her house and they went into her room. And this was in the, wait, what grade is? I think it was the fourth, no, I don't think it was the fourth, five or, grade five or six, I think. Grade five or six. Um, these people came into her room in, at like 3 a.m. or something like that, rummaging around in her drawers, like finding stuff to steal. 3 a.m. Like, imagine how fucking scary that would be, dude. Like, I can't imagine the fear. Oh my god, that's insane to think about. That's so scary, man. I guess I don't have to, like, come to think of it, I guess I don't have to bring up the whole other side of it. But from water. Um, but like, from what I said, a lot, like, there's a lot of, like, racial tensions out there. The guy didn't steal anything, he was hiding in the basement? What? What'd you guys do? It was like 4am when I woke up, my, to my mom screaming at him. Jesus Christ, that's scary, man. Like, if he had a weapon or something like that. Oof. I've had stuff stolen out of, like, okay, so I have a work truck, right? I've had stuff stolen out of that before. I didn't use to lock the toolboxes at night, and then I had a bunch of shit stolen out of it. But like, even that felt like very invasive. So I can't imagine. Like I'm, the mere thought of imagining waking up to like some hearing some like rummaging, and then I like look, and there's like a this a dude I don't know, and like a like wearing like a ski mask or something going through my like, drawers. Like holy fuck, man. I don't know what I would do, but like that sounds horrifying to me. Absolutely horrifying. Um, and I pray I never, ever, ever have to experience that because like that fucking like that like that sounds life changing, you know? I, I really don't think I could ever feel comfortable. I like I hear all the time like people when they get raw they they have to move like they don't feel comfortable living in their house anymore. They have to move before they feel comfortable, and that's honestly how I feel. Like, I would feel if I ever, like, woke up to my house being invaded like that, like, I would fucking have to move, man. I don't know how the hell someone could see your house without you waking up to begin with, to be honest, unless you left your door open by mistake. But my god, man, that sounds like such a horrifying experience to go through. My friend thought a burglar, burglar broke in. It was just a drunk guy who went in the wrong house that night. I got a pretty funny story about that. This only happened a couple of years ago, but me and um, I went to the bar with a few friends before, and one of my, well, my friend's friend got super drunk, and then we had like a DD, and he drove us, like he was he was driving us home, like his you know he was gonna drive us all home, and he uh, long decorative shelves, interesting. No, that is, but we're not gonna figure that out right now. Um, when he, like, we were trying to, he was driving us all home, and the first person he was going to drive home was this super drunk guy that was essentially, like, complete, he was completely out of it. We were trying to ask him, hey man, where do you live? He's like, oh, I live at the nim 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 nim. He gave us, like, an address. We're like, okay, so we brought him there. We, like, we, like, me and another friend had to, like, we had to put his arms around each of our shoulders to walk him up to the door. We knocked on the door, nothing happens. Like, okay. Is... Like, your front door is locked. What do you want to see? He's like, oh, oh, the back door, the back door. It's like, okay. Um, the, the fence was locked. 
and we were like, oh, your back door is locked. Or your your the back fence is locked. We can't get to your backyard. It's like, oh, oh, oh. So I jumped over the fence and I unlocked it for them. And then we went up to the door and we started knocking on it. Then all of a sudden out of nowhere, I see the door open and a camera right in my a phone camera right in my face. I was like, oh, you don't live here, do you guy? <laughs> And yeah, it turned out the guy did not live there, in fact. And then we were just knocking and, and break, essentially, like, it looked like if I was that dude, I would totally think someone's trying to break into my house. I don't know why the hell this guy would pull out a camera, though. Like, would you not just call the police at that point? I would. Um, but then we're like, oh, and I, I literally said something, oh, sorry, man. We thought this is where this guy lived. Sorry. I said something like that. And then we, uh,. And then, I, I don't know how, we somehow got this guy's real address out of him and he brought him home and dropped him off. That shit sucked though, man. That that was, it was kind of funny though too, you know? Just imagine like going to like, you're being nice, you know, you're helping this guy get into his house. And then it turns out, oh, this is not this guy's house. And we're actually just woke up this dude at like 2 a.m. that was sleeping and he's like freaking the fuck out because he thinks he's about, he's like being invaded by three dudes. Was a shooting in Montcon a few days ago? I have no idea what that, what that is. I'm guessing a city, uh, a town or city in New Brunswick. That sucks. Sorry to hear about that. The thought of the man burglaring my house. I can't believe burglaring is a word, by the way. It's so funny. Uh, but just donuts and a ranch is funny. Wait, what? Oh, he had donuts and a ranch and that's it? He stole donuts and a ranch? What? I don't understand how someone gets so drunk they don't understand that. That's so weird to me. I mean, wait, do I have the wrapping paper on me? No, I put him away. Okay, that's what I thought. I want to give Kyle his, his junk. Junk. Take this wall lamp on. I'm rolling. We got robbed once. Were you home, Luca? That house is much safer because the dog wakes up everywhere. Yeah. Dogs are uh, a very good asset to have for protection. That's for damn sure, man. Sure, it's annoying as hell when they bark whenever anyone walks within like 50 feet of your house, but you know, if it's 3 a.m. and your dog starts freaking the fuck out, it's, uh, it's a pretty good sign that something's wrong. <laughs> good old Sally, hanging out, relaxing, Max. If you did that in my town, you probably would have been shopping with whoever lived there. If you're talking about my story about my like friend that like got robbed in South Africa, her her family is like doctors, so <laughs> you know they heal people, they don't kill people, so that one of happened, but um, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No, he brought them in. What? Let them in, try to escape. Oh, cool. They could they could feather dust those for uh for fingerprints. My dad does have a gun, but it's for hunting and you won't be able to get to that quickly. Really? See, if I owned a gun, I would probably keep it in my room. I would get for protection, you know? Canada has pretty strict gun laws though. Like you literally have to keep your guns locked up at all times when you're not using them. I'm pretty sure. I remember once my dad, for whatever reason, he had like bullets in his, uh, this is when he lived in a small farm town, by the way. He had he had bullets in his um, um, his glove box. What a weird word for that, by the way. That's what I can think of. It's such a weird word. I'm like, I remember once he was like, he was, I was inside the car. We were parked on like the main street. This is when I lived in a small farm town in Grandview. Um, and he uh. Like, he was talking to, like, someone outside, and I was, like, just, I was in the passenger seat, I was, like, 12 or something, I was rummaging through, and I found bullets, and I, like, peed us, I was, like, Dad, what? You have bullets in here? And my dad, I was so mad at that, because you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's kind of funny to think back on. I love when we try to escape, my dad does have a gun. Um, now the time, it was my grandma's house. And she was on vacation, and my dad would occasionally come over to look over the house, and we found all the doors open. Jesus. 
Well, I mean, if, if I had the choice between being robbed when I was home or when I was away, I would definitely choose away. Like, I can't fucking imagine the absolute fear of waking up to someone rummaging through your... No, I did this one, apparently. Wait, how? Alright, I guess I kicked it in the dirt. I can't imagine the fear of waking up to someone robbing you. That shit sounds so fucking, like, horrifying to me. My god, I would be a changed person if that happened to me. I'll tell you what. One of them threatened to slit his throat, so he fought back by saying he was going to ram the car into a pole. Too easy to shoot at someone good by mistake, especially when with a loan. Yeah, I don't know. If I ever, like, if I ever do own a gun, I'd probably, like, like a, like a pistol or something, I'd probably keep it in my room with me. For protection's sake, you know? Somewhere easy to access, but, you know, safe as well. Been streaming for over two hours, good lord, dude. My fabulous buddy! How many more pictures do I need? Does it looks like that's the wrong number. I have your picture, yes, 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 no, no, yes, 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 no. So I need Kyle's, Keaton's, and Sally. These three boys right here. Anyways, it's 11 p.m. I'm gonna go to bed now. I can't believe how many of you crazy peeps are still here. There's six of you, and like, I have an active chat right now. Like, should I just start? Like, okay, the people that are here right now, would you guys like it if I streamed later at night? Yes or no? I would love to know because, like, I don't have any qualms about streaming. I mean, I can't stream till this late on weekdays, but I can stream like an I can stream up until an hour earlier from now. You know, 10 p.m. CT is like the max I can stream to on a weekday, or I guess technically 10:30. It used to be 10 for me, but it's kind of changed to like 10:30 if I'm working on something important. If I'm not doing anything important, I always try to make it a point to go to bed at 10 p.m. on weekdays. But if I'm doing something important like editing a video or something I want to get out ASAP, I change that till 10.30 p.m. So, like, if you, if, like, more of you guys can make it to, t like, till, like, to the end till around 10 p.m. CT on a weekday. Sure, I can stream later. Late night madness. Whoop. I guess I could try that out. I like this time, really. Yeah, on weekdays. Depends on how much later. Honestly, uh, whatever stream I watch depends on my mood, which is fickle as a pickle. Pickle as a pickle. Because, yeah, I wouldn't man my minion. I wouldn't mind streaming later. Just like, I mean, I would assume people wouldn't come much later than that, right? I don't know. Me too. I could try it out. I could try streaming like it. 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. or something like that. That honestly might be better for me, anyways. It's like when I get like I get home from work. If I'm lucky, I get home from work at 4:30 p.m. All right. And when I get home, I'll eat supper. I'll have food. I'll watch some YouTube videos. I'll watch some Twitch. Like I need at least a little bit of time to relax, right? Like streaming is fun to me, but it, I mean technically it, it's work. You know, like, I have fun doing this work, but it is a little bit strenuous on me, right? Streaming is, mm, mm, I don't want to say mentally exhausting, but it can't, like, you know, it gets to you a little bit. Look at Moji. He's yawning. Aww, my little kitty cat. This is what I'm talking about, my little ottoman here. He's just, he's relaxing, maximum. Look at the LEDs. Guys, it was so... Ugh. Trying to build this computer was so hard. I was asking people for advice on like what to build it with. And I kept saying spit like to not just one person, not two people, it was like three or four. I was like, I want LEDs in my computer. I want them. I know they don't mean anything, but I like them. They're fun. And like every time I said that, like, you don't want LEDs. Like, yes, I do! Why is that so hard to understand? I want the pretty lights, man. I know it don't matter. I know they're way too expensive, but they're, but they're pretty. I had stuff in my man thong? What the fuck? <laughs> I'll just keep that motherfucking thing on me. What the hell? I don't know what that's your reference. 
I think about the guns and falcons and dogs is much more common in America. But, oh yeah, man, of course. Ow, man. Ha ha ha, late night madness. Whoop whoop. Doc, you're back. What's up, box man? Hey, do you want to play Rust right now? Let's play Rust. It's a Saturday night, why not? Depends how much later, honestly, whenever the stream watch. Oh yeah, I can't remember that. Me too. Um, nah, bro, wait till I... Just, just whisper. You can whisper to me. It'll be very sensual. It's okay. <laughs> I'm right now. Yeah, I know. I, I, I saw. It's okay. I, I was just kidding. But I also think that question because, like, who knows? Maybe. I would have done it if you would have said yes. Um, but I didn't expect you to say yes. I mean, it's what you want. You need to do it then. Quality will suffer when you get burnt. Yeah, it's like... As much as I love streaming, it is mentally exhausting. And, at, like, streaming after work... After being, like, physically exhausted, also mentally exhausting myself, you know, I need a little bit of a break, which is why I don't tend to stream earlier than 7 p.m. CT, even though I'll generally get home at 4.30, generally. But, uh, it sucks because, like, I wish I could stream more. I wish I could edit more, but it's like, it's hard, man. It, like, it's hard to find time for a lot of stuff. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'm editing right now, honestly. I greatly appreciate it. Moji's hanging out here. He's yawning beside me. Um, it's way past his wet food time. Wait, hold on. Let's see if we can get a reaction. Are you ready? Moji, you want some wet food? Moji, you want some wet food? Moji, do you want some wet food? He's meowing. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but his mouth is moving and he's meowing. He wants his wet food! But sleep soon time. <sighs> right, same here. Um, oh my god, I have a video to release tomorrow. I gotta like finish editing that tonight. Or I wake up early tomorrow, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna probably do that now. <laughs> god damn it. Floating bean donate a bit? What? I missed that. Oh, thanks, Bean, if you're still here. She's looking at you. It's a he, actually? How dare you first? Honestly, Emoji does look very feminine. Also, I, I named Emoji, which is also kind of a bit of a feminine. Well, he's yawning a lot, huh? You just saw at the very corner of the screen, if you saw that right there. Um, you guys want to see my sister looks like? You can already see her right here. Cool, huh? Sister reveal. Also, that's my favorite dog I've ever had. Her name is Jessie. She's very crazy. She was super like, she had crazy amounts of energy. My mom took that picture and she gave it to me for Christmas or a birthday at some point. Um, I miss that dog so much. We had to give her away because at one point when my parents divorced, they, uh, when my parents divorced, like both my parents kind of moved to spots where they couldn't really have dogs. And so we had to give... Well, we had two dogs. My mom kept both of them. One was named Molly. One was named Jesse. That one you just saw was named Jesse. Molly, we kept for like a year or two after that. It was really sad because the place we were staying was my uncle's place. And my uncle's wife is allergic to dogs. So we essentially had to keep them locked up in a... Not like... We had to keep them... It, like, it, hurt. it honestly makes me feel so sad to see this. We had we had like we had like a little border thing put up in like a hallway, and there was like a few rooms they could go into. But like that's all they had to do. They were essentially like in a dog kennel all day, and it makes me so sad. Like, cause I would always like cuddle. Like I would cuddle my dog Molly so much. Like Molly, I promise we're gonna move to somewhere where we can be more free. And she never made it that far. A year, a year or a year or two into it, she had a stroke. And like her, I think it was her right back leg, it would freeze up. Like it was like stuck like that. It was like stuck straight out. And when she'd walk, she would like swing it. She wouldn't, she would never bend the joint. She would only swing it to walk. And then she like, she loved food. Her entire life since we had her for like 10 years, we'd pour food and she would like, <laughs> she would like devour that shit as if it's like the first meal she's had in years. She would do that, and we knew she was not. She we knew, we knew she was dying because we would give her like food, and she wouldn't touch it. 
and like she would drink water and she would have the tiniest bit of water and then she would throw it up immediately. So like a couple days in, I was at work and I got the text from my mom that she had died and I was so fucking sad. I like to die essentially like in prison like that when she was such a good dog, especially because when we adopted her, she was abused. She was an abused dog. We could tell because like just the way she was so skittish and like she would freak like we would come home like no one would be home and she would sleep on the couches all the time and then we'd come home and she would jump off the couch and she'd freak out she would sometimes be so scared she'd pee herself because like she thought like being on the couch was bad and she had this big scar across the top of her nose like she was hit by something we were told she was attacked by a bear by our previous owners but i mean we figured out pretty quickly that Probably wasn't a bear, probably was an angry owner hitting her or something like that. But she died after she had that stroke, and it was so fucking sad. It was so sad. And then this dog, Jesse. Like, we decided that, you know, we don't want to have the same fate as our dog, Molly. So we ended up giving her away to our, uh, my mom worked with someone. Um, we gave her away to her, and she was actually good friends with her. So for a long time, we saw her pretty frequently. But then those started, those started like decreasing as time went on. And then it ended up being like the very last time I saw her. And I like, I don't know for sure that she's dead, but she would be like probably like 16, 17, 18 at this point. I haven't seen her in like years and years. So like, I'm pretty goddamn sure she's dead at this point. The last time I saw her, she's over the age of 10. And she's a medium sized dog. So like medium sized dogs, like 12, 13, 14, that's generally when they die, so. And they never, like, they never took her to the vet. They never took her, like, to get vaccinated or anything. So we're pretty sure she's, like, I'm pretty sure she's dead. And it sucks because this is the dog. I convinced my parents to get this damn dog at the age of, like, grade two. Whatever, however old you are in grade two. I convinced them to get this dog. And I had this dog up until, I think the very last time I saw this dog when I was, like, 17. So, like, grade 11, grade 12. And I never saw her again. And it sucks because I miss her so much. She's the best dog, man. She was so, like... She was the kind of dog where, if, like... She hated cuddling. But, like... I remember one time I was really sad. And I was, like, crying on the stairs. And she came up to me. And she'd do this thing where, like... You know what dogs, like, they're, like... They're, like... Um... Not curl. They would, like, tuck their ears down. They, like, walk up to you really slowly. And then they'll, like, slowly poke their nose at you to, like, you know, see, like, what's wrong. Like, say, hey, you're okay. Like, she would do that kind of shit all the time. If you're sad, she would, like, she would, like, she would literally come to you and try to make you feel better. And that's, the, like, the coolest thing I've ever seen a dog do in my entire life. Bro, you're about says, I'll be streaming almost every day for the time. <laughs> Does it really? I'll be streaming every day for the year 2017, mostly during the night on days at work. <laughs> 2017, oh my god. You know what's funny, Doug? I literally went through those the other day and I updated some of them. Apparently, I missed the about section because, <laughs> yeah, I need to switch that. It's only four years old. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, my dog did that too. I love when dogs land the cat. Yeah, that's what, like, I love my cat emoji. But, like, he's not, like, he's... Cats are, like, cats are smart, but they don't really, like, they're... How do I word this? They're not nearly as loving and accepting as dogs, you know? I have three cats. My dog used to do that after eating my lunch. Oh, they just want food. <laughs> Too fat, one tiny. Moji's perfectly healthy. Although, maybe he's starting to go a little up in weight, and I'm, you know... I might have to uh, cut back on his food a little bit. He's not fat, but, you know... He's starting to gain a little bit of weight, and I don't want him to get fat. So, you hear that emoji? No more food. Ever again. I love you. Give me out back for me, okay, we're good now. Um. I feel what I was saying. Oh yeah, like cats, cats are cool in their own way, because the one thing with cats is you have to gain their love. I've had Moji for five years now, and it still feels like an accomplishment whenever he decides to bless me with his presence by, like even today, I mentioned earlier today, I was on this couch watching TV and he cuddled me. And that fucking was amazing because he never cuddles. He's scared to cuddle because he's so shy and anxious that he's scared to cuddle with me. 
But today he did. And it was a great accomplishment. And like, same thing when I'm in bed sleeping. I'll be sleeping. Get a treat emoji. He does deserve a treat, huh? Okay, I'll do that one second, Kayla. Want a treat? He said yes, he meowed. Um, Mo Moji will like, you know, it it's cool because like, I'll give, like, he's slowly over time becoming slowly, like when I say slowly, I mean years slowly. Not like days, not weeks, not even months. I mean slowly, slowly years, over years. You know the black kitty. You know the, the black cat? Who's the black cat? No, if I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be going in a second here anyways, but I'll switch to just chatting. Just chatting. Um. <clears throat> oh, a black cat named Penelope. Cool. She hates everyone. Yeah, I've definitely known people with cats that like hate everyone. But it's like that's the one thing that's cool about cats is you have to gain their love. When you gain a cat's love, it's an incredible feeling. You feel like you you know like unstoppable. You feel like you've made so much progress over like your fucking months and years of work. But with dogs, for the most part, did you give him the treat? I've not yet. No, I'll do that in a second, though, Kayla. Don't worry. Um, but like with Moji, or sorry, with dogs. You know, you get one and they're sure they're probably shy, anxious, and nervous at first, but they, you know, within a week, maybe two, three, four weeks at the very max, they'll be so in love with you. They'll let you cuddle you. They'll let you pet them all they, all you want. They'll all give you kisses every second of the day. Dogs will like do anything for your love. Cats though, aren't like that. And that's the one thing cats have over dogs, in my opinion. Well, there's two things. Two things. The one, number one, is they're so independent. I went on vacation to the Dominican Republic for a week. Moji was here by himself. I had, I had like friends and family come over here once a day or like once every two days to like give him his wet food and make sure his water and food dish were fine. But besides that, Moji was very, you know, he's, you know, he's very independent. He's fine. Like you couldn't deal with a dog. You couldn't leave a dog for a week by itself. And number two is like the journey of gaining a cat's love is actually an incredible experience and I highly recommend it to anybody. If you've never had a cat, get a cat and like figure out how to gain its love because it's it's a really like it's a really good experience. If I sit on the couch, she's like, ooh, massage chair. Really? See, Moji's not like that. I know some cats are a lot more like lovey than others, but Moji's not that. And honestly, Moji's very lucky I got him because like when I picked him up when I was adopting him, he like seemed to like it, so I thought it'd be good. Because the one thing I wanted was a cuddly cat, and Moji is not a cuddly cat. But he seemed to tolerate me when I picked him up when I was like thinking about adopting him, so I decided to get him. But honestly, like I, if I realized how uncuddly Moji was, I probably would not have gotten him. I probably would have gotten another cat instead. All right, I'm half focused. I'm gonna go pee real quick and then I'll give Moji his treat and then I'll probably end stream. So one second.
two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Hey! Oh, the TDS is also an excellent. Where'd Moji go? He's gone. What time of day is this now? Basic snow? Oh, it's the prologue! There he is. There he goes, Wild I am three. Why is he moving like that? <laughs> moving like a little ninja. Hooray! We've done it! My fingers are on fire. Why are your fingers on fire? That's not good. You put them in water. Put them out. All right. I'm going to call it there. This is a two and a half hour stream. Good God. I did not expect it to be so freaking long, dude. Thanks for coming, everyone. I appreciate you guys very much. Um, this is actually a really fun stream. I like just hanging out with you guys sometimes. I would love to, like, do more of this. <clears throat> but unfortunately, it only really works when there's people to actually chat to. On the streams where I don't get any chatters, it's very fucking hard to stream because I don't have anything to bounce off of. And I'm fine with talking to myself, but I mean, it's definitely not nearly as fun of at least having one or two people here. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming, everyone. I really appreciate it. I love you all very much. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Probably Wind Waker Randomizer and maybe Rust. I might jump on the Rust server without Duck and see what's going on. I'm very interested. I'm very interested in a tree. I was here the whole time. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for sticking around the entire time. I really appreciate that. Um, oh, wait. Or either maybe I'll do Wind Waker Randomizer and, and Rust. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll catch up on the, um... The reward requests. A.K.A. the games requested, which would be Minecraft. And then Ghost Runners. Also, Phasmophobia... VR, but I mean, I'll do that when my wire comes in, and I have no idea when that's gonna come in. It was, like, literally, like, last shipping update I was December 31st, so who fucking knows when that's gonna come in? <sighs> Meanwhile, I could I could spend an extra $40 in order on Amazon Prime and get it within two days and have an extra wire, but no, I don't wanna do that. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night. I'll be back tomorrow. And, um, yeah, new video coming out tomorrow as well on my main channel. Unoriginally Chris. Not Unoriginally Chris LPS, but Unoriginally Chris. My teacher says she loves my personality in writing sense. That's really cool. I love right, right. Besides gym class, gym class is my favorite class in school. What's up, Frankers? Welcome back. Um, but besides that, I loved English class. I love writing essays, I, even till this day. My one of my favorite parts about making a new video on my my main channel is writing the script. I like writing a lot. It's fun, but the thing is, it's it's hard for me to get. I just dropped my phone. It's hard to get into. It's hard for me to get into the main like thought process on writing. So like, I really enjoy writing, but it's hard for me to get into that state of me enjoying writing. Anyways, who gives a shit? I'm going to bed. Love you guys very much. Have a good night. Wait, do I have enough people to raid someone? I have five viewers. That's good enough to raid someone, alright? Let's raid somebody. Alright, we're gonna just chat. Wait, I could check on the Winnipeg streamers here. Is anyone on the Winnipeg streaming Discord that's streaming right now that I give a flying fuck about? Um announcements? No. Promotions? Is it promotions? No. Uh, streaming? Live streams. Oh, I have the thing needed, that's why. For anyone here I recognize. I only like rating people like recognize. So why the hell would I rate someone that I don't know? Uh, 
Um, okay, what about, is there anyone in the, in, 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 I was streaming Animal Crossing before this. Is there anyone streaming Animal Crossing? Hello, is there anyone in Animal Crossing? Browse? Search tags, New Horizons. No results, what? Oh, frick, dude. Wait. It's 2.5k people watching Animal Crossing. Wow, this is like top 10 categories on Twitch right now. It's shocking. Um, uh, someone around my viewer range. This person has 15 viewers. God. Uh, but then we'd have to have it the whole trip, and that's kind of lame. No, you get like a little. When you bring it home, you get a collapsible rod. This person seems cool. Let's raid them. All right, let's go. Let's go raid this person, shall we? Okay, go say yo to them. Say yo and raid. Channels intend for mature. Audience. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you very much. I'll say four. You can say four. That's fine. See you guys later. Love you all very much. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay, wait. I won't. I won't.